Let's go, guys. Let's go. You know what time it is. It's Title Tuesday. The big boys are here. I hope you guys are ready for today. Title Tuesday, $1,600 prize fund, three minutes and one second increment. What's up, chat? What's going on, everyone? This is the format, 11 rounds every single Tuesday. The big boys are here. Hopefully, you took off work today or watching at work. Here are the prizes. First place, $750, $400 per second. Third place is $150. Fourth is $100. Best female, $100. And best stream is a hundred dollars. Now it's that time, y'all. You know who's in this tournament, right? You know all the big dogs are here, everybody. So let's see who we got. Kohi Karu, Naroditsky, Bogdan, Misha Nick. The squad is strong through here. It's very strong. Every Tuesday, Jeffrey Zhang. Come on. Brandon Jacobson, Jospum. Uh, I'm just gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna stop because the games are starting. The games are starting right now. We're going to start with the big boy, the man himself. He called a clean shirt. My guy, appreciate you. Foolproof. Appreciate you, my guy. Thanks, man. What's up, Canty? What's up, Arthur? What's going on, bro? Welcome to the stream. So we have Ikaru playing. What is this, Modern? Oh, he played Carol Khan. Carol Khan. So let's see it out the Opes here. Carol Khan. Okay. This is a nice situation. Pawn takes this way. This one is usually more aggressive, where you'll see in the Sveshnikov fashions. This is actually kind of strange, though, that he put the bishop on f5 still. So he's probably going to back it up this way. The problem is you want to push this pawn and activate this bishop, but this bishop's going to be bad. So I guess he's saying, I'm going to have a bad bishop anyway. Bishop h7, because what are you going to do with this bishop? Maybe put it on d6 and try to control both the color complexes. Well, now that he's opposing, he takes it now. Regular Carol Khan stuff. Yeah. So he did this right. Just to kind of bring an A game. Can't he's commentate. What up, Peter? What's up, bro? Big guys, largest fella is commentating me out. What's up, Max? My guy, what's up, Max? We got the best commentator. What's up, Epic Wolves in the building? We in here, guys. Yo, it's uh, it's Title Tuesday, so you should be doing nothing but this today. So hopefully you called off work and, uh, you know, you was able to get this day off. Because if not, hey, we're, we'll be back next Tuesday. So it's every Tuesday. Rook to E1. Okay, so this is a very nice move, putting some pressure here. You got to see him casting queenside, and there it is immediately. You cannot keep the king in the center. That is just not a move, my guy. It's not a move. The 30, 23rd warrior, what's up, bro? Yo, Canty, what's good? Hey, Anna. Yo, Anna Maja in the chat. Big shout out to Anna. Go follow her channel. You playing? Anna, Anna should be playing right now. Anna should be playing. I don't know if she's playing right now. It's title Tuesday. She does have a title. Very strong. We in here. What's up, Elo? Elo Don. Shout out, Anna. Yeah, are you playing, Anna? You can, Then go get out of the chat if you're playing. She's probably not playing, though. Knight h5, hitting f6. Uh, Bishop h2. That's not a move. Honestly, Black has done everything he can do. Very nice position, of course. What else do you expect from 3200 Hikaru? Half man, half everything else. So you bring this Rook over here. The g8 is probably one of the big plans here. Probably f5. Yeah, there it is. I mean, just solid straight solid position bro you can't do anything this is a weakness but not really i mean i would love to open the file with a smile here so rook g8 and maybe rook g6 and dub on the file that's right dub on above and just go to work here i mean like excellent position for hikaru here you really expect that from him all the time but there's a very good position no no issues honestly no issues in fact if i were right here you actually have to use this pawn majority over here on this side of the board it's all about who gets to the king first and opposite side castles so these guys are opposite side castle queen side for black king side for white so you have to figure out who's going to get to the king first and black is on black it looks it's definitely going to be hikaru right now unless Unless white can defend enough for him to be okay. Glad to see you commentating. What up, BSJ? BSJ. Welcome. What's up? He look. He looks mortal. What's up, man? Olympiad. Good to see you. Good to see you, Danny. Danny, baby. What's up? What's going on? Is that a Dorito? That makes me think of Doritos now. Doritos are good. Is Anish playing? I don't think so. I haven't checked, but there's a lot of players playing. A lot of players playing. What's wrong with these guys? <laughs> <laughs> Martin, that is just such a funny comment. I just had to laugh. I just had to laugh, Martin, because, uh, you know, it's just a different level here. Hikaru is higher rated than some engines. Think about that for a second before you say anything else. Okay. Rook to D1. Good to see you, Jim. What's up, Lithium? What's going on? Future GM 2007. What's up, bro? Oops. Let's not do that. So here, Rook D1 is stopping 92. Stopping 92. Can't see best in the biz. Read all love. Yeah. Right, stop crashing, go study, Anna, yeah, it's Anna, Anna, shout out to her in the chat. Rook D1, stopping knight to D2 check. He has 20 seconds here. Did you notice this? Did anyone else notice this? 
anyone else notice this? He has 20 seconds. So this one's a wrap. We already know what's going to happen there. He did do a sacrifice, but it doesn't matter what happens here. There is one second increment. Oh, Tuan Min Lee's playing. Oh, we got Min Lee in the building. It's oh, uh, we got Gata Kamsky. Okay, he was actually one of my favorite favorite players back in the day. Uh, I was taking some coaching from Roman in like 2014. Roman DJ has really, and he was talking about Kamsky. Kamsky is a beast. Queen A6 check, King G2. Get out the way. Maybe Queen D3. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm out of time. I'm losing here. High rated than Stockfish 10. Now, I mean, right, think about that. You know, there's a lot of people that still can't beat Stockfish 10. GMs, right? You know, <laughs> come on. Kenty's got the best commentator. What's up, Kigo Barbat? Welcome to the stream, man. Yo, Quinn, what's up, bro? All right. <laughs> Yo, I think it'll be. Well, I mean, this there, we're not playing. This is not an arena, so you can play these games out to the entirety. So you can just play every game out. Every single game out, you can. And just hope for the best, right? You know, the no resign method and, and mindset. Um, but at the same time here, um, this is not an arena, so you can play these out. In arenas, you want to actually finish as quickly as possible. So you can just get to the next game, especially if you're getting crushed. Here, this game is not going for black at all, and he flags there. That's GG. Start a new one, and Hikaru wins. He beats a uh, 2495 GM and gets no points for it. Not one. All that work for no points must be hard at the top says Ikaru. so here uh what's going on we got daniel naraditsky danya the man the myth the legend he streams every single night so shout out to him rook e6 is definitely in the air guys something like bishop to b6 this actually reminds me kasparov had a game like that with bishop to b6 Ooh, look at the uh, engine go crazy yeah this might be a wrap just like that my guy queen a5 and we not live bishop b6 is game over rook e6 gg maybe wait he has king at king h8 and you have a check so it's like close. Oh, no, we could do rookie eight. That's gross. And then queen takes f7 mate. Oh, my goodness. This is a family channel. That's gross. Rookie two, queen a3, bishop c5. No, that's check. Ouch. That's check. And you hang in the rook. So you can't even move it. You got to be careful. Queen a3. Yeah, you got to be careful. Yo, is it rated? No, it's not, it's rated. Oh, it's rated. He's just too high rated, right? There's a difference. When you get very high rated, you can beat the same 2600 and get no points for it. Must be hard at the top, says Ikaru. You just have to go here. But I'm wondering what the move is. Oh, you just take it anyway. Just take it now. Just take it now, Canty. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks, Danya. Daniel. Thank you so much, buddy. That was nice. Bishop takes first. Didn't matter. I was trying to get this bishop to move and then rook takes because that was nasty. But bishop takes works as well. He came flirting in the family time. Rook D1, and he's done. Yeah, this is a wrap. Well, he got five seconds though. Well, it's the one second increment, and you have to play. You have to play very accurate. Is black here? No time. Look at that. Point nine. How did that even happen? Oh, that is one second, I guess. Point nine though. I wish I could get a point where beating a twenty six. Yeah, you know what, Quinn? That's a goal. That's a huge goal, my guy. That's it. Wait till you see the original. What's up, race for prize? That's a huge goal. Dan look at that. Daniel Naraditsky beats a twenty four ninety four FM. And gets zero points for it. Must be hard at the top. Must be hard. One day. One day. One day, baby. One day. Let's look at Artemiev. Artemiev, Russia. Shout out to Russia. They're, uh, let's see who's in the top. Of course, Hikaru, 3,200. That's crazy. 32 up here. Hifruja, maybe not playing. This one. That's odd. He usually plays a lot of them. Christopher Yu down here. Christopher Yu, very strong. He actually is playing next week. He's going to get he's going to get normed up. So hey, look out for Christopher Yu. He's going to get normed up. He'll be playing in Charlotte. It's an IM tournament next week. So he's going to uh, play in the GM section and go get normed up. That young man is ready. Johnny's Kitchen, what's up, bro? Do you occasionally join Title Tuesday? Honestly, I just study, bro. I just study all the time, all the time here. Let's actually see where is. Okay, there we go. Does anyone we know? Anyone we know? I just study all the time, bro. Just getting ready for tournaments. Oh, Hess. Can't play Hess without, or you know what I mean? Can't play chess without Hess. There's no Hess without chess. You get it. Yeah. Hess is playing. Yo, is this turning OTB? Yeah, he has an OTB tournament next week in Charlotte. I'll be in Chicago. Long time I saw Faruja. Yeah, Faruja's not in this one. This was a draw, guys. Right? White's going this way? Okay. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure here. Making sure. Push, and that's a, wait, oh, yeah, that was nice, oh, but that's a wrap, oh, and it's a draw anyway, 
The reason why he didn't queen here, guys, if you're like, why didn't he queen? Oh my goodness, he could have queen. And then the knight check. That's a very nice uh, trick to use in end games here. So he just played bishop here, and then he takes and makes it a draw. So that's something to pay attention to, just in case you were wondering. Nobody jumped off the deep end there. Everything's okay. Okay. That might be round one. That might be the finish of round one there. Hikaru at the top. Round two probably is going to start in a few seconds, unless. Yeah, cool. That one's over. Round one's over. Minley is very strong. I am nearly champ. Yeah, he's, I mean, you could tell by his rating. Like, come on now. He's 2,900 and beats the everyone. He's beaten everyone before. Round two has started. Let's go. Hikaru in the big boy seat. We're going to watch him from the white side here. Probably seen knight f3 or b3. He's also played h3. Move one. Right. There's knight f3. There it is. Yeah. Hikaru farms his rating from all the 2,900s and 3,000s. Nuts. It's just insane to think about. So we have e3 and c4. Probably no B3. Very strange. And not strange, but just not as usual. Not as usual. We always see like the B3. I think, man, there it is. Yeah. And what was really cool was that H3 game. Like he just had a week where he was playing H3, move one, every game is white. Don't try this at home. But he definitely did it. H3, move one, and beating everybody. Like it was nothing. Right. Now, of course, what happens there is that's going to be a transposition into many different openings with the early inclusion of H3. That's all it's about. But it was the fact that he did it and was winning with it. It's just insane amount of chess here. Now, this is a very easy plan. What you're going to do and think about here is first off, we have an isolated pawn. Because this pawn is isolated, literally this game is strategically already done for white. What you have to do is try to trade the pieces. Of course, trade as many pieces that defend. So if we can get this knight, that would be great. Probably play bishop f3 at some point. But we want to watch out for knight e5. But we want to bully this pawn, maybe play queen d2, rook a, rook f to d1. Hit the d5 pawn as much as possible. Probably taking with the queen, to be honest. Now, just to keep this here. Yep, there it is. Queen takes. We have no weaknesses, says white. And we're just going to snap this. Maybe queen d2. But he could take. Then we'll take queen c. Take c3. If queen d2, does he really go knight e4? Is that real? Because then if I take, it undoubles. I mean, it stops the iso. And if queen takes, I think he can take on c3. If I take the queen, he takes with a check on e2. In between. Just and jug. GG. Start a new one. Queen h4. And rook f to d1. That's a nice move. Queen h4. But you still... Can you still do this? Knight e4, queen takes. He didn't do it. It seems like that's there, though. Seems like that's real. Yes, Candy back host and loving it. What's up, Day? What's going on? What's good? What's good? Oh, it's good. Uh, Candy, good commentary. Good. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is uh, this is the top game right here. This is the top game. So, knight b2, knight to d3, and knight f4. We also have knight c5. Again, we have this isolated pawn. The more that you trade, the worse this is going to be for black's position. And there's that 94 move, right? Really strong. You, this is actually, you're supposed to do this anyway. In isolated pawns, if you understand the structure, which is the skeleton of the whole game, the pawn structure is the GPS to the entire game. So in this whole game is about this pawn. If we could uh, stop it from being isolated or trade less pieces, and actually, yeah, we're, we're good now. White's just in the driver's seat. Yeah, I mean, it says 0 .08. You see the evaluation bar, right? 0 .08. That's very, very equal. Now it's at 0 .48, like closer to half a pawn, but still fairly an equal game. But, of course, you would definitely prefer to be white here just because this is a huge weakness. These are weak as well, but this one is probably going to go before these do any of that. Glad to see you. What's up, bro? Kia Rosh. What's good, bro? Thanks for the Accelerated Dragon video. Very helpful. Yeah, the Accelerated Dragon, man. I was a beast. I mean, I got one of my first GM draws over the board was with the Accelerated Dragon. It was like, well, I don't play it anymore, but it's um, <laughs> it has a special place in my heart. The Accelerated Dragon. Knight D3, very nice. You want to blockade this pawn and try to bully this pawn, but how is the question? You actually do not have a clear way to get this pawn. So actually, knight d3 will be very difficult. In fact, you might see rook to d3. Because knight d3 blocks the file. Yes, you block the pass pawn or the uh, isolated pawn. But how do you get it? And if you can't get it, it doesn't matter. That does not seem correct at all. Leaving the protection of this. There are tactics involved. So of course, it, you take my rook, right? So you just allow my king to get in. Maybe go here. How do we get this pawn? We need to get to like c2 or something with the knight. Or e2. Is that possible? And that would take a lot of moves. One, two, three, four, five. It would take five moves. But it might work. It actually might work. You no, know, taking is a blunder blocking with your face there. Actually, you could pay. You took you could take it. 
you could have been okay. But he had Rook to C2 with the counterplay, getting some stuff back. So King takes, Rook check, everything would be defended. Rook C3, probably just step back. Or wait, 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 wait. Take the pawn? Why did he take it? Oh, F3's hanging. Man, he's tactically hitting him. Trying to, but look at that. And now the pawn's gone. How do you save it? You can't. So he's lashing out. He's doing anything that he can. G5 or G and G4. Yep, G5, G4. Probably push past him. Play F5 as well. Yeah, F4 is good. Boy, he has Rook H3. Bro, his counterplay is serious. My goodness. Who is this guy? <laughs> Where is he from? England. Man, yo, his counterplay is serious. Very nice play from him. Rook D2. Now we take on F3, get the pawn back. But this is still weak and it's doubled. And it's very double, right? King F4, okay, for the score. We're feeling good about this one. But we need to keep the second rank on lock because if Rook C2 happens, you're in trouble. So you need to move this knight somewhere. There you go. There you go. Right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. We, we called it. He did exactly that. King takes F3, and you're feeling good. We're feeling good about this. Bishop G4 for the score. Don't block with your face. Knight E3, very nice. Very nice. Stopping Knight G4. Knight F5, Knight D5 as well. Maybe King G2. Yep, sit in a little cubby hole here. Kick him away. Defend. Knight D5. Eh. This is this is weak. That's the problem. F4, beautiful. F5 and we live. King F3, very nice. And F5. This is this is a good one. Just take it. No. Well, yeah. Yeah, probably just take it, to be honest. Yeah, just take it and run. And run this boy. Start running for the hills. Running for the hills. Ooh, that's a forced trade. No, it's not. He has Rick B4. That he has to go here if he doesn't want to trade. Yeah, he has to. That was great. That was a great move. King F3. Hikaru will be pushing, bro. Like, King F3 out of all the moves. That was just so accurate. King F3 was just insane. King F3 to play Rook E2 check. Because, or Rook E2 to pin the Rook to the King. Which makes it a winning King in pawn in game. Flawlessly. Like, a textbook. It was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Every Tuesday, this is where you should be. Don't go nowhere else. Don't go nowhere else. I love your YouTube channel. Keep making content. Thanks, Tyson. Appreciate you, Tyson, man. Hey, yeah, uh, we got that series going right now. 100 videos. 94, Knight, Rook F8, Rook C1, Rook C7, Knight D5, Bishop C4. Ooh, this is not that good for white. I don't really like white's position as much. You do have weaknesses, so never mind. Yeah, We have to, like, it, it, when you first look at a position, you're like, oh, I don't like it. But then you have to actually look and see what is the position saying. This bishop is absolutely gross. Absolutely gross. Like, it does nothing at all. And there's weaknesses. But it's very strange. Like, it feels like, oh, yes, he tactics win games. Look at that. That's a big boy move from a big fella right there. Wow. Yikes. Oh, this kid is very strong. I played him a lot in some bullet games. This is a very strong kid. He's very strong. Where is he from? Uh, Sri Lanka. Yeah, he's very strong. Might not be a kid anymore, but I know he's a kid in that picture. But he's very strong. But uh, uh, Timmy, I've got that one. Very nice. What's up, Zodiac? What's good? Welcome to the stream. Let's uh, update the standings here. Hikaru, of course, at the top. Daniel Nerdisky behind him. So um, we always play a game here every time I'm hosting, guys. Okay, so I want you to pay attention here. I want you to count how many Russian flags we see here. You know, Russia be representing. Russia represents, okay, straight up. So I'm just saying let's play the game today and let's see. So we have one, and, and it's usually it's like in the top 10. It's like in the top 10. So just top 10, how many Russian flags do you see? All right, so right now we got one, two, and three. So like 70%, 30%, not 70, 30%. U.S. giving some contest today. Yeah, correct, correct. But it's still early. It's round two. We want to look at these standings when we get to like round eight and nine. Now, that's when we want to see who is really representing. At one point, you know, I remember so you guys always watch. It was like 80%. At one point, 80%. I remember they finished that way. Russia had 80% in the top 10, if you can believe that. 80%. Nuts. Rick check, King F7. So eight out of the ten people had uh, Russia up there. Yeah, I've been wondering if we just not streaming anymore. He's probably working. Probably just putting in work. That's what that's what I would be doing. I would just be working. And I mean, he's already super strong. So I'm sure he wants to get stronger. So I, I'm sure he's just working. And Jason, what's up, Jason? Yo, what's good, bro? What's good? Yeah, Indians are extremely strong as well. India is super strong, super strong. They got Kramnik and Anand over there working, and the other GMs, bro. India is very underrated. Do not play around. This is theoretical draw. Now the problem here is you do not want to get you don't want to get to the corner. So he's doing okay right now. This is draw. It's textbook. Textbook draw, baby. Textbook. Yeah. Bounce around. Come and bring it back. Just bring it back to me. I'm out the way. Have a nice day. Cool. Go back. Go back. Ooh, don't block with your face. Right. Be very careful. That might be an error. He's okay. He's out. He's out the box. 
You just cannot, and this is gonna go, this may go to 50 moves. Usually that's what happens. This goes to 50 moves or somebody blunders. Usually black being the one that blunders here or the person with the knight. But in this, yeah, well, black's fine. He's in the center of the board here. The worst thing to do and how you lose these games, usually these end games, this is just something for you to know, is when you're in the corner. So if you're in any of the corners, any of these corners, you could, uh, yeah, there it is. You got that draw. Very nice. Usually if you're in any of these corners, you could get in trouble. And you can lose the game based off of where you are. So you got to be careful. So very, very, very careful. So this is very nice, though. He found that draw. And that was a GG. Did he just, did he hang the rook? How did he, wait, how did this draw happen? Oh, he checked the mirror. He just did it and said, forget it. Whatever. <laughs> rook F3. That was insane. It didn't even care. Rook F3. That's a draw anyway. Didn't matter. This one seems like black can push for more. Seems like a draw. Well, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of checks for white, though. A lot of checks for white, but this could go wrong. Oh, rook takes g3, rook takes h5. He says, no, I'm going to defend. So I'm going to walk my king up because you let me out of the box. Usually you want to keep the rook to cut the king off, but now the king's able to run around a little bit. He's getting close to you too. Oh, that's a draw for real. Great draw. Look at that. He has a king on f4. You know, he has all the squares. He has all the space. I can always bully this. In fact, if you're not careful, this could switch into white's favor. But I mean, that's only if you move the rook because there's literally no way that you can, oh wait, can you play? No, Ricky five loses on the spot. So yeah, this is just straight up draw. They just gonna shuffle. They just gonna shuffle back and forth. Hopefully, this should be a draw. How much do we say that, right? <laughs> How many times have you heard me say that here? <laughs> All the commentary we do. This should be a draw. We'll see what happens. Great to have you back, you're the best. Yeah, what's up Richard, what's good baby? What up though? James, I have no idea. Man. Uh, this is Demetrius. Oh, what's up, Demetrius? Yo, what's up, bro? Demetrius, yo, what's good, man? I haven't talked to you in a while. We will see Ali Reza next week. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Demetrius in the chat. King of four, check. King G5, yep. This should be a drop. Should be. Oh, look at that, see? <laughs> it's always something, bro. Literally, and then we just gonna cut the king off. You can just go this way. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Look, king's in. You can bring the rook back. Yep, shield from checks, and then we can go this way here. Hey, that works too. And then go back and then block with the pawn. GG, start a new one. Yep, start a new one. No, you're in games. No, you're in games. I was about to say, wait, yeah, he had to go King B8. Oh, now we got a Lucina. Wow, a Lucina position. Uh, very nice, very nice. That's exactly what you need here. But all in games are like this anyway. Rook and pawn in games, you just want a variation of some type of Lucina position or Philidor if you're on the other side. It just depends, really. You know, it's very uh, it's very good to understand how to do your in games correctly. You need to do your in games. That's round two. Wrapped up there. Round two looking good. Nair Disky and first. Did Hikaru drop out? Anybody know? Did Hikaru just like leave? Did he have to go? What happened? Like Hikaru was here. Maybe it's not. Maybe it didn't refresh. That's kind of strange because he has two points. That's very strange. I'm sure, you know, he's streaming right now. So you guys can uh, can actually go see. Oh, he's here. He's here. I was like, yo, why did he just leave? But for some reason, it just wasn't in the standings. He's like, pumped positivity. What's up, bomb? What's good, bro? Yeah, he's playing. Here's game right here. Here's game right here. Yeah. Yo, can't think of see pump. What's up, bomb? Good to see you. Yeah, he's playing right here. He's playing. So what was this opening? Oh, modern. Yeah, he always plays the modern. I know you're working and watching, listening, trying to learn. Yeah, bro. Hey, man, get you a chess.com account. Demetrius, Glow Show. Get you a chess.com account. That's where it's at. Get chess.com when you sign up. But oh, are you new? Yes, I'm a beginner. You know, because I think you are a beginner. So yeah, and, and then um, go from there, bro. I'll add you as a friend. Be an engine. Okay. Rick to C1. I like White's position, to be honest, but he, these modern positions, Hikaru uh, is very, very nice at. Very, very nice with. In fact, it's one of his favorites to use because of the flexibility of the opening. It can transpose to a King's Indian. It can transpose to a Grunfeld, a Perk Defense, um, even an Accelerated Dragon, like for Sicilian players. So, you know, or a Dragon. It's just very, very flexible. Very, very flexible. And uh, it's very, very nice. Very nice. But it's a counter-punching opening. It's one of those, like, you know, if you're boxing, I'm just, I'm, I'm bobbing and weaving and dodging all your hits. And then I'm going to start swinging at you when you get close enough. But that's about it. It's not going out. I'm not doing anything yet. It's literally counterpunching. If you see all of my pawns, or at least the center ones are on the third rank. And we have H5 and A5 in. So wing pawns are advanced. But this is a very counterpunching opening. Very counterpunching opening. Yeah. 
Um, but I like look at this like look at the piece play from White though. White is by no means worse in this position. Does White have a weak king? In fact, he does, but Black does this too. Why does he have a weak king? Weak kings happen, especially when you castle, after pushing the pawns that are around that defend the king. You have to think of the castle as like a house, right? You got doors in your house, right? You have doors in your house. And in your house, you know, if you just open the door and leave it open, anything or anyone can come inside. So, or anything, right? It's the same thing in, in like here. When you push these pawns, up like anything if you get a knight right here how, how annoying is that right or a bishop or a pawn if it, it's not possible right now but it, if it's ever possible this is going to be annoying if i could like sack on this maybe g4 and sack you know there are a lot of things that can happen but if these pawns were backward or were back on their original squares there uh, it would be different you wouldn't have this at all and in fact a lot of this has to just do with um like people have to know that um defense like you you have to do this sometimes and sometimes you don't like when white played h4 h5 might be necessary because h5 can happen and then he'll break all this up and you get made it like basically get made it so white's going for it white's going for it playing e5 the engine hated that move as you see is minus three but we are playing humans here well he car was half a human half a human so in fact yeah this was a super blunder because you can't do this <laughs> See Karu and get away with it. Knight takes g6, I was assuming was the intention, but we don't have a light square bishop when we get in here. And this knight covers h7, so I think he's in trouble. I think he's in trouble, to be honest. What's up, James? What's good, Jameson? What's the deal, my guy? Hope all is well. Hope all is well. Good to see you, bro. Ikaru thinking, though. That's good and bad. I say, oh, he's thinking, but it's also bad for you. Because he might be thinking something diabolical. And actually, if I guess it wasn't. Uh, according to the engine here, he had much better. But he went for Rick B3 first. So now we can open the file here with a smile. And then take on E5. And now, what he just said here is simplifying is the way to go. Simplifying is the way to go. Simplify, which means like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to get some of these pieces off. Then I'm going to take this pawn. So I got rid of some of your, uh, some of your um, firepower. Some of your firepower, but we do have the file here. We do have the file, but this pawn, whoa, he sacked on F7. Oh my goodness, he going for it. He is hitting Hikaru with everything he has. And look at the engine. It's approved. Oh my goodness, it's about to get real in here. Hold on to your hats, big fella. Knight takes F7, trying to send him to heaven. Wow, queen takes G6 in the mix. That's a big boy move. Now, how do you follow up is the question. Knight takes E6 or pawn takes E5. Like, how do you even follow this up? Like, literally, how do you follow this up? This is nuts. This is nuts. I guess you just take on h5 because there's nothing else to do. Like, the knight can't get in. The bishop's too far away. Pawn takes e5, you're getting hit with tempo, which is usually not best. So, yeah, it, I think you have to take on h5. I think it's the only thing. I think that's the only thing you can do. And you see the engine did not approve. Like, that is not a move. That is not a move, my guy. That is not. That's farthest away. So that's actually back it up. Now I'm going to turn on the engine and see what they say. Engine says the best move is ha, knight takes h5. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I can do this all day. Let's uh, turn that lines off. Yeah, Knight takes h5 was best. Yeah, it's not a move right here. It's on the hat. Right here. Yep. It's not a move. Please tell them two times. Two times. Um, engine does not prove any sacks. You're actually right. You're actually right. Uh, not, not, not all of them. Some they do and some they don't. Oh, let's finish the game. Sorry. Let's fast forward. Let's actually go back. What happened in the last few moves? So he played knight h3. That's where we left off. Knight h3. And then he took. And then bishop h6. So we trying to mate him. Ricky 7 defends the mate. Pretty easy. So takes on d4. Knight f8. Get up out of here, big dog. You're too close to me. And look at all these pieces that defend the king. There's no way you're mating unless you get the same amount or greater. You need more pieces. Actually, while you're doing this, go Google. Go, go to Google or YouTube. Type in Kasparov calculations. You're welcome, right? You're welcome. Okay. So with that being said, like this is not. He has too many pieces around the king. So it's not enough. Not enough. Yeah, it's not enough. This is. This should be over. But look at the Hikaru has uh 20 seconds though. Wow. What's up, A. Wayne? What's good, bro? What's good, bro? Yeah, that's a pretty legit sack, comp you crazy. That's what I was saying, right? He sacked on F7, and the engine was like, yeah, it's equal. I'm like, what? Oh, that works? Oh, that's crazy. And even here, it's still not, you know, white's down a piece. Okay, well, that was bad. That was really bad. Yeah, but white, white's down a piece, you know. So when he's down a, 
piece and the engine's like, yeah, you down a piece, but it's like equal. That's a great, that's a wild game. That was a premium face blockage there, according to the engine. 100% premium phase blockage. Oh my goodness, he's going to put on a show for us. Don't do it to him, Ikaru. Don't do it to him. We got kids watching. King G1, Queen G3, Queen G2 mate. Oh my goodness. King G2, check. Oops, wrong check. Wrong check. Don't do that. And then mate. Oh my goodness. You see how fast he found that? Hope you did your puzzle rest today. All right. Rook takes G2. Oh my goodness. Get the man off the board. GG. Naradiski with three as well. Good stuff. Good stuff there. That was big boy chess from a big fella. Hikaru is a monster. Nothing but. Nothing but. So this, nope, no mate. Close. I like white though. I think we could get away with this. It feels like we queening, bro. Like we got to be queening here. How are we not queening? Oh, he could play king g7 after h7 and then we move the rook. That's the only way. Maybe we not queening then. h6. Dang, man, that's nuts. That's nuts. You see, it just say it's like equal. That's nuts. And here, guys, even though it's equal, oh, black's up a pawn. We should win. Black should push on. You do have the extra pawn. But generally speaking, on the same side, it's a draw. And all we're looking to do for black here is some type of Lucina position. And for, for white, we're looking for some type of Philidor position where we're good. I love you, boys. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. You know, and if you don't know these positions, you need to go look them up immediately for your end games. Lucina position for the win. And then... Um, Philidor position for the draw. Uh, he got a passer though. Ooh, he in trouble. How did he get rid of that? Oh, he played G four. Yeah, you could. You had to take this way. Like if there was a possibility to take this way, he had to do it because there's an extra pawn here. Like now, this is losing completely, bro. Philidor, nah, uh, uh. And then he could always use this as the reserve tempi. Yeah, you in trouble. You in a lot of trouble. Reserve Tempe is a very, very nice one. Lucina is actually spelled how Epic Wolf spelled it with an E. Lucina. L-U-C-E-N-A. You can also go to chess.com and like go to the lessons tab. And um, I think it's in the end games one. End game one. Go to the lessons tab. And then you'll see it in there. You could also like search it. Lucina. And then um, you can start working it in there your lessons. I was just in a lesson yesterday. I was looking at some Ben Fine Ghost stuff. I'm like, oh, let me see Ben. In the chest, in the little lessons tag, it was like 3 in the morning. But I was watching that. So white wins this one. Easy. Queen it. You're not getting out of that one. Appreciate it. This is round three still. Let's check the... Uh, uh, wait, hold on. Let's see this. King up. Oh, this is a draw, huh? Yeah, yeah. Straight back opposition. Straight back opposition. There it is. Very instructive. Very instructive. People that do not know, right? This is not a win. This is not a win. If you go this way, though, it's all about the opposition. If you go this way, you lose. So you have to go straight back, straight back, and then opposition. And that's it. And it's a draw. Tell me. It's textbook. You see all these end games you're getting, guys? This tells you, hey, work on your end games. Oh, this was a draw 50 move rule. Yeah, Rook and Knight is draw. But, you know, you <laughs> anything happens, it's supposed to be a draw. All right, what round are we in? We are round four now. And we have a break right after round four. We got one, two, three, four. So they're at 40% Russian. It's 40% Russian in the top 10. So they're climbing a little bit. Uh, we always play this game. Um, how many Russians are in the top 10? Every single time. James, are you studying Harvard GM Norm Tournament? Absolutely, Sturdy Boots. I actually play next week. I'll be in Chicago Open. So if you're there, shout out to you. I will be there. Chicago Open next week. I'm about to go get normed up. B6, Bishop, A6. What's this? I actually don't play this as, um, as black. <laughs> Yes, sir. All right now, bro. You're doing a great job. Thanks, Mio Otto. Appreciate you. Where can we watch it? In fact, you're only going to have to watch it. They have these things called like Monroys. Shout out to uh, anybody that know what a Monroy is. You know, pat yourself on the back. Clap your A. You a legend, okay? But they got like these little Monroy things that they give us, the arbiters actually give us. Like here, you know, you can use this and people can follow along at home. That's how you actually use the, um, that's how you use the, uh, it's like a device. It's a device. It's spelled with an I at the end, Quinn. But it's a device that you can record your notation on. You actually use it like that. Yo, what up, Chess Coach Net in the building? Chess Coach, yeah, what's good, man? Yeah, yeah, but it's some type of Monroy device, something like that. But you And they give it out. It is electronic, but they give it out 
right? So, you know, so you, nobody at the table acted all crazy, like, yo, that's an electronic, and, like, you cheated already. But it's given to them by the tournament director. So this is how you're able to watch games, usually in the um, in the t in the in the open section. Because other than that, no, they're not all DGT boards. Like, no, that's not. This is an open tournament. They don't have that kind of thing. Iron Dragon is sitting at 1461. Let's go, Worm Bones. Let's go, Bones. Let's go. Good job, man. Keep it up, big dog. Keep it up. Pawn and Ricking Games, is that the first you have to know, James? Honestly, you want to know... Yeah, you probably want to know more rookie games than you do King and Pawn, but you need to know both. Honestly, you need to know both, Richard. So, like, just open an in-game book, Jeremy Stillman's in-game course, 100 in-games you must know, Devoreski in-game manual, Pandolfini's in-game uh, something. That was the first one I read, Pandolfini in-game manual or course or something. That was the first one I read. That's how I learned how to build a bridge, which is Lucina position. That's what I learned it from, but it's uh, it's pretty nice. Levy also played Chicago Open, I think. Honestly, I don't know. I didn't see him in the. Uh, I don't think he's playing. I think he's playing Vegas. I didn't see him in the um, in the standings list. They have the the list already up online. Queen takes e six is looking good. Queen check. He didn't go for the draw here. Obviously, three four five three six. Yeah, I didn't know I was done. I figured he sacked a piece, but like, how? Why would you? Well, it's equal. That's kind of oh, because Queen takes g seven. I was wondering, like, how? Why is he playing on? Hikaru is like sacked a piece here, and like, what? Why are you playing on? Like, you did not want to take the, you didn't want to take the draw, but he's he's setting up his mate. But I mean, it tells you something here, right? That it's equal. Hikaru will be playing on another level, bro. That's why he thirty two oh three. Like, come on now, you know it's nuts. That's nuts. It's equal here, but I'm down a full piece. He could always take the draw. He could, he could always take the draw. He already had that, but uh, it's ninety seven. It's not D7 move. I mean, it is a move, but it's still complicated. It's very complicated. 34 Puzzle Rush. Let's go, Matt Sturgeon. Keep it up, my guy. And I get to 35. That extra one on Puzzle Rush, man, that could take you months. <laughs> you know, getting that extra one. Levy's always playing Chicago over. Yeah, he played in 2019, actually. I sat right behind him in, like, round... S no, the last round. I was, like, right behind him. He was, like, playing in front of me. I was playing right behind him in, like, round uh, round nine. Of Chicago Open 2019. Oh, he's so he going bad. Oh, cool, cool. I'm gonna link up with with, with Levy then. Thanks, James. I think 100 in games is on adjustable. Yeah, 100 in games is fire. Can't get past 26. Keep doing it every day. Queen takes e6. Queen f5. And you want to do it multiple times a day. Multiple times a day. You know, I tell students like 30 minutes to an hour every day. Every day. If you can get more, great. But puzzle rush, 30 minutes to an hour every single day of puzzle rush. You will you will see the results. You will see the results. I promise you that. Check here. King. Make sure you analyze, too, the ones you get wrong. Like, oh, I got it wrong, and then you just go right into the next one, and then you get the same one wrong again because you didn't look at it before. Make sure you do that. That's the same thing in your chess games. Analyze every single one. Every single one. All the U.S. guys are gone from the top. Three. I told you, bro. Look, hey, Russia represent. I bet you they got about three, four up there at least in the top ten. Does anyone think of a new eye on Puzzle Rush? That's, that's okay, Matt Sturgeon. <laughs> You took a break, you know, You're using your brain is a muscle, right? It's a muscle, so you have to rest it. Yeah, Hikaru down a piece, bro. Hikaru just straight up down a piece. But he does have some compensation in the pawns, in form of the pawns. So if you think about, uh-oh, did he just give it back? Why didn't he take? Wait a second. Takes and rook. Oh, no, bishop c8. Okay. So that move was very bad for some reason. That was just a terrible move. You saw how the engine went up? Something was wrong. Something was wrong, but let's do the pawn count, right? Three versus six pawns. Hikaru does not have the piece, but he does have the piece compensation, quotation marks, due via through the pawns. He got three extra pawns, which equal one of the knights or the bishops. Bishops usually a little more, 3.2, but okay, we got three extra pawns. And when we trade pieces, what are we trying to do? Queen your pawns. But uh, there, it's like, a, it's equal. It's like, eh, and equal when you play Hikaru, means you're losing. So Hikaru's winning. Hikaru's winning. <laughs> he's not a piece. Yeah, I don't. But he's winning. Is it better to do timed or survival? I do. Uh, timed, I think, is better to do. Mostly time is better because of uh, it helps you in real-time moments. Like, imagine when you get five minutes on the clock and you don't play a lot of blitz chess or at all. And it's a tactical position. And because you've only been playing survival, you know, you're. Um, it's going to be very tough for you. Very tough for you to think under pressure. That's why I like the puzzle rush. They basically try to look chess game. Yeah. 
I play 30 games, 30 minute games, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you know, my dad plays 45 minutes per side, okay? Per side, right? Wow. And then he got 1,600 games with this one guy, like, they best friends. It's like, wow, bro. Wow. Per side, my guy. That's where that's grinding. That's some grinding. So, all right, I, if we could trade everything off and then just, well, let's maybe wait on that. We, if we grab this pawn, then we can trade everything off. But before then, you know, yeah, he, he, he did a great decision there by just, just, you know, poking, poke the bear, throw a stick at him, throw a rock, like just poking around the position. Queen F8, Queen B4, just literally poking around the position. And these three pawns serve as our piece that we're missing right now. So, and also I said, you know, Hikaru, yeah, this equal, but Hikaru playing this, this, there it is. He got the pawn. He got the pawn. That's a wrap. I think Hikaru about to win this. Easy. Easy. No, like, no problem at all. No problem at all. But it's Sir James Canty. So, baby. <laughs> no problem at all. He about, to, he about to win this game. Watch this. Let's, let's, let's watch the technique. So, he's pushing the pawns. He's getting a little bit closer. He's defending F3 at the same time. And he jumped off the deep end. Start a new one. Ouch. Blocked with his face there. Queen takes C6. GG. Yeah. That's what happens when you play Hikaru. You be winning, but be losing. It just sucks, man. It really does. <laughs> but hey, you know, you always have to ask yourself, what can I learn from this? What can I learn from this game? What can I learn, bro? As hard as it might be, what can I learn from this game? Cause it a second later, bar goes from zero to one point five. Come on, Olympia. Come on now. Let's go. You already know. You already know. Yeah, <laughs> bonus Magnus. I mean, you're right. You're right, 23rd, but you know. <laughs> Brian, hey man. Look, Brian, it's gonna be all right, man. If you need somebody to talk to, it's gonna be okay, all right. We here, we got your back. Rook check takes Ricky seven. I guess draw. Yo, is this? I'm about to say, uh, but there, this he's just not. He's just trying not to lose. But he's lo oh my goodness, what what happened there? Yeah, he, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Yeah, near Disky going down in this one. Yikes! I know he did not like that one. Is near near Disky's not streaming? Is he? I don't think he's streaming. I didn't see his stream on when I got on. But uh, uh, yeah, it's always tough. Nerdisky's always looking to improve. He's always looking to improve. Oh, that was plus 62? Did I miss that? He's not streaming? Okay. Yeah, Hikaru, uh, I mean, not Hikaru. Uh, Nerdisky is one that always criticizes his improvement, which means he's always looking to get better. He's always looking to get better. Those type of players, I mean, you, hey, they can all, like, the sky is the limit. Literally, the sky is the limit. I'm that kind of way, too. Like, you want to be that way? You don't have to, but, you know, if you want to be strong and stronger, criticize your play, things like that. That was kind of weird. Lagged out a little bit. We're good. This is winning for black. It should be. It should be. Especially with the bishop over the rook. Uh, of course, we do have the... If he gets this pawn, though... Yeah, still. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What happened? Hold on. Did he get what he wanted out of this? Yeah, he had to. He had to. Block. Block it up. Push it. Um, shoot. What's the... Oh, that's a draw. That's a draw. That's a draw. It should be a draw. It should be. That's a draw, bro. Man, that was a good play. Who is this? Super Chess from India. <laughs> of course. Of course, they do this all the time. Man. Yeah, he, he's playing. That was really nice. Really nice draw there. Don't play Hikaru. <laughs> Olympia. What can you learn from this game? Don't play Hikaru. Rick, <laughs> Rick here. Oh, now we have some draw. Some. Oh, yeah, you just take the punt. There it is. Draw. Yeah, peaceful, peaceful result there. Peaceful results. And the last game of round four. Yes, this should be a draw. And we're going to say should be because you see some randomness happen in these. Like they should just, you know, someone should offer the other one accepts. That's how this should go here. But, of course, if you have the fighting spirit, no matter what, you play this game out. Even in this kind of game. Like you're not. In fact, if you are a beginner here, you're not learning anything from this game. But to push on. To just keep pushing. But sometimes you can push to the point where you actually just break everything. Like, you broke it. You know, you, you messed this whole thing up. In fact, what he should be doing is just keeping long-range checks or keeping the rook very close to the king. But let's see what happens, though. Blunder City. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Hey, finals. It's Blunder City for me. Uh, this is the players of Japan out there when I see playing scare. <laughs> so based. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a good question, Fabian. Probably Duboff. 
Uh, that's what I think. Well, I actually watch a lot of his uh, YouTube stuff. That's funny. <laughs> funny, Benji. You're funny. Yo, come on. Yo, thank you. Thanks, chess.com. Clap it up for the prefer like chess.com always got a got you back. Right? 50 move rule. 50 move rule. We're not about to sit here all day. So, all right, cool. That game's over. And we're gonna check the standings now. Bogdan, Mishanik, and things like that. But this is awesome. We got more chess, guys. We got a lot more chess coming, but that's gonna be right after this short break. We're in round four. We're about to move into round five. We're gonna take a short break and be right back after this. So don't go anywhere.
and we're back guys we are back round five is starting so let's get right into it here we go here we go hikaru playing santo blue here santo blue so this is the uh no this isn't the cozio roy lopez this is like the weird one I, it's just like a weird it's like a, a a deferred but later cozio something like that it's a weird roy lopez actually um memedyarov or Mandyarov, Mandyarov, Shaq, right? We know who we're talking about. Shaq, Shaq. Shaq is, uh, he plays this as black with good results, actually. So if you're looking for something different to against the Roy Lopez, this system with G6 is what Hikaru is playing right now. So I'm pretty sure he probably seen some games from Shaq. Figuring, and maybe he just knows it, but um, Shaq, Mandyarov has actually played this a lot with the black pieces against the Roy Lopez. So pretty strong stuff. Pretty strong stuff. It's different from the usual d6, bishop e7, and then you go knight a5, which is not the best anymore, or knight b8, briar variation stuff of the Roy Lopez. Now, uh, now it's different. Why is it always a ghost game? Seems to be biased. No, I mean, it's just the top game. Like, we just, you know, the top games appear. We can switch to other games too, of course, but, you know, it, it, these are also four. We can switch the games, but Hikaru's at the top. Like, this is top level chess. You know, we could go to other games as well, but this is the best that you get right here. Knight to c3, and these, pawn, these pawns are very strong. And then you also get to see different opponents he plays as well. So we get to see Hikaru do it, and also, um, um, Santo Blue, which is very strong. He's he's very, very strong, to be honest. He actually has a great great position, too. But these are what they call hanging pawns. In fact, actually, this one's not hanging at all. Hanging means, like, kind of floating. They, and they can only be defended by pieces. In fact, this pawn right here can actually be defended. So this one's actually not a part of the hanging pawn structure, which the pawn structure we talked about before is the skeleton of the position, and it's the GPS to tell you how you should play this entire game based off the pawn structure. So... These pawns here, he traded now black having actual hanging pawns. These are actually hanging pawns. Hanging, that's what they call them. That's literally what they call them. Is uh, literally what they call them, hanging pawns. So knight to g5 could be an option. If you're trying to remove this knight, but that's impossible, you would love to get queen b3 in though. Um, honestly, white's position is very nice here. Hikaru is definitely going to have some trouble here. He definitely going to have some trouble in this game. But, hey, you know, he won a piece down and won those other three pawns. Took it down to the man had no time left and he blundered. It was insane. I mean, he's known for doing this kind of stuff. But man, he is definitely in some trouble here. Bishop g5 is a very strong move. Keeping a pin there. Stepping out of the way and maybe removing the knight from uh, c3 to e2. Attacking the knight behind that knight is the pawn, which is already hit. There it is, bishop g5. And we live. That's a big boy move. Could be in trouble. It went down a little bit. Engine didn't like that. Oh, direct. That's very nice. Threats. It's always about the threats. That makes total sense. Always about the threats. Even g5. Just because you need to expand a little bit. Maybe knight g6, knight f4. I mean, uh, it does weaken the king. It does weaken. It's very risky. Very risky. I mean, look at white black structure. This is weak. This is weak. This is weak. This is weak. You know, there's a lot of trouble here. So he's getting rid of something. Finally, knight takes d4. And he plays queen d7, stepping out of the pin for the win. And defending e6 at the same time. This is a loose piece. Loose piece means undefended. So because this is undefended, there are tactics that could happen, like maybe even knight d5. Now, of course, it doesn't work now because pawn takes actually defends the knight. But he does move to attack this loose piece, going maybe to the other side of the board eventually. Eventually. Yeah, yeah his games are very good. Thanks, science. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, very strong FM. Yeah, this is uh, this is um, L-Shot. Elshan's very strong. Elshan's extremely strong. Yeah. Extremely strong. Okay. So, uh, this was an Alapin. Oh, one of my favorites. C3 Cecile for the kill? Oh, let's see how he played it. Oh, this was delayed. So, that's a little bit different. It's delayed. He took on D6. You usually like to stay play Bishop D3. And just keep the Bishop here. You know, a lot of times. That's more of the fun lines. But, this is possible as well. We do have an ISO. So yeah, he didn't get he didn't really get the position that the Alapin wants. In fact, oh whoa whoa, this knight's on f6, but his rooks are in the wrong place. And so now he's just losing. Is it queen h4? And then queen yes, yeah, queen h4. Well, queen h4 is very strong, and if h6, then you have to rook lift. I think he rook lift first, but you also had queen h4. If pawn takes, then you queen takes with check, forcing king g8, and then you rook lift and rook g3 is mate, and we great start a new one, start a new one, my guy. Alapin, oh yeah, yeah, I was, uh, I'm more Smith-Moore now too, I just learned some, um, I got some Smith-Moore, oh my goodness, yo, 
you know, there, there's uh, you know, people think that there's only one way to play the Smith Moore. In fact, there are like 20 different ways to play the Smith Moore. So I started picking that up, and I have won every game so far. Believe it or not, I've only played like 10, 12 games, but I've won every game with the Smith Moore so far. Like just because I've been studying it, you know, it's different. I'm not just playing it; I studied it first, then played it. So uh, it's, it's working and for any Alpin players out there. It's definitely take a look at this. Uh, yeah, Rook H3 is just better, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's better. Take a look at that uh, C3. C3 and the Smith Moore. Okay, so I can just take... When you find a good move, look for a better one. So, like, if I can divert this queen, that's mate. So maybe something like queen C4. Okay, but he could always go back. Because queen C4, that's a cool-looking move. But he just takes it. He just said there's nothing better to do than just take it. And the reason why we thought about something else is because black still is... is this is not over yet. This game is not over yet. Now, he did flag. He was also having some connection issues, too. And very strong FM here. Um, I mean, very strong. Like, he's just, it just, his title speaks for himself and his rating, actually. What happened in this game? Hikaru got a very strong position, but it's very risky. As you see, there's holes around the king for both sides, actually. The seventh rank looking crazy. We got a white here, but then a white rook on the seventh, and we're about to double him in a minute. Knight takes, knight takes, pre-moved, by the way. Queen's hanging. There's 20 seconds on the clock. This is where it gets crazy. This is where it really gets crazy. And Hikaru shows his strength here because there's no time. Literally, like, no time. Best of all time. Just a kind of front page of Twitch. Let's go, Scuba. My guy. <laughs> hey, Max, I remember when Danny said that, too. I was watching. Oh my goodness, bro. I almost spit out my coffee. It was so funny. I couldn't believe he said that. That was hilarious. Danny is funny, bro. Danny is funny. Knight e7, king f7, knight c6. Yeah, and Carl's winning. Carl's winning. Obviously, he always does. He always does. Like, just insane. You know? This is why I think he gets bored sometimes and plays, you know, move one h3. Let's just do it. See what happens. And then beat everybody still. All right. Uh, standings. Fives. A lot of, not a lot of fives. But let's take a look at what we got in the Russians here. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. So they went down a little bit. Top 10 is 30%. But still, you know, that's a, that's still a lot. I mean, compared to everybody else too. Like one from USA. Uh, is that a second now? No. One, two, uh, three from Russia. Yes. We have two from Georgia. Dang. Oh, of course, you got Joe Baba out here turning up. And we have Levon Ponce. Pansilaya, okay, yeah, strong players, strong, strong players, as we know. Konovets is next up. Looking at this position, can we take the pawn? We can't play g3. We're going to try to advance, but he can put the king in front of it. So, uh, oh, he got that pawn. Something happened. I looked away. I was calculating, like Hikaru, on my Hikaru, and, um, now these, this pawn was gone, but at first I was like, it's a draw, but now I don't know what happened. Not playing today, can't see? No, I mean, I'm playing, uh, I'm, I'm usually studying. I got a tournament next week, and I'm always studying, always studying. 70% study, 30% play, and anything else. So I usually, uh, I'll be studying, bro. I'll be studying, usually. Or I'll watch these games, or do the commentary. And I'm getting free lessons right now. Like, you just, oh, he, oh, he did that move order. I've seen that before. Oh, you know, it's pretty awesome just to watch this stuff. I still want this stuff. If you're drawing a car, you're losing. If you're losing a car, you're losing. If you're winning against a car, you're losing. Hey, hey, man. You know, you're right. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing else you can say about that. This is beautiful, by the way. It was beautiful how he put this bishop right here and just kind of just said, I'm going to stay on this diagonal, my guy. Yeah, that's it. He was waiting for it. And look how the king beautifully placed here. It stops your king from the squares that you need. In fact, in Devoreski in-game manual, Come the corresponding squares, I think. The squares that you need, actually, which is uh these here. As, as, to queen, as a, with the white queen, you need these two squares to be able to, like, push it through. But the king is stopping you, and you can't do anything about it. That was beautiful. Beautiful in-game technique there. We have, is this Vidit? Is this Vidit? Oh, yeah, that's him. Oh, that's a draw. Ah, uh, nothing fun. Oh, there you go. And then it's just boring. It's just boring. It's just boring. Who resigned? Oh, did I miss something? Wait, who resigned? Hold on. I must have missed something here. Wait, was that a... I thought I saw a draw there. You talking about the last game? 
Most slip is on. Rooting for God, James Kent III. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Oh, that might have been. Dang. Mouse slip resign. Oh, I did that before. That hurts. Oh, the draw was a win? Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, that hurts. He resigned by accident. Ouch. That's worse than a mouse slip. I mean, but the mouse slip could be just as bad, so you have to resign anyway, so whatever. But that, that hurts. Dang, that hurts. Yikes. Especially in an event like today. Misha Nick, Hikaru Bogdan, Exotic Princess. It's so funny. Joe Baba. My dude, Joe Baba. And he dances in every stream. Shout out to him. If he's streaming right now, go definitely go check him out. You will always laugh in his stream. He's dancing and like disco music and great chess. It's great. It's great. It's always fun over there. It is adult, adult audience though. Adult language. Bishop B4, Bishop to D2. Castling, Queen E2, Queen E4. This looks like, oh, this is a pan off. Hold on. Let's run this from the back. Run it, run it, run this from the top, my guy. Hold up, run it back. Knight of three. So this, this, I'm a, I'm a pan off player. So any pan off Bobvinik players out there? Uh, Joe Baba stream. Joe Baba, yeah, Badir Joe Baba. This is a, this is. I actually studied this theory. So this is pretty good. So you do have an isolated pawn. Yes, it is a weakness, but there's ways to play around it. And actually, this is usually the setup you don't want. In fact, Hikaru has not the greatest setup with the isolated pawn. In fact, this looks good, but in fact, this bishop blocks, and it should be on f4 or g5 according to the latest theory is how this should be. Now, you could back this up to c1. You really want to have the rook here, but this bishop is misplaced. There it is. He moved it back. See, he's kind of maneuvering. He moved it back. This bishop was misplaced, and now black has this piece as ideal. In fact, with the bishop on f6, you actually want to play the bishop before lines, but luckily, we did get g6 in. This is now starting to turn on how it should go. Yeah, this is correct. Queen g4, you play h4, you play h5, takes, sack everything, have a nice day. That's usually how it goes right here. h4, h5 is the good stuff. Knight f5 is very strong in these cases. This rook's usually out of the game a lot. Uh, and you also have knight e5 that can help a lot. Just putting the knight here, and if he does take, you actually now have connected pawns and not an iso anymore. Very, very good to understand the plans and ideas of an opening. And this is what Hikaru does. He didn't get the, I, he honestly did not get the theory all the way correct through the through the opening. But he understood the idea, which so he backed the bishop up to d2, went queen e4, then moved it to h6, and there it is. H4 is on the board. Hikaru should be should be hitting this pretty easily. Oh, by the way, it is titled, guys. Yes. Somebody, everybody always think it's tilted. So if you're watching this and you think it's tilted Tuesday, it is not tilted Tuesday, guys. It is titled Tuesday for all you that wanted to know. It's not tilted. It's titled. Everyone in this tournament has a title. A title. Not tilted. I mean, some of these, it, it becomes tilted Tuesday for a lot of people. <laughs> After a few rounds. Oh, it's definitely Tilted Tuesday for some people. But uh, it's titled Tuesday. What stream should I be watching, James? You can watch any stream you, you want to. You can actually use the chess category um, and go watch the other streamers that may be streaming this event right now. Right now. And you can watch both. Great. You can watch as many as much as you want. Much as you want. Yo, this is a nuts position right now. My queen. Wait, wait. Queen's hanging. Bishop's hanging. G2 is hanging. So he played queen h2. I understand because this was too strange. This was a little bit too strange. And your queen looks absolutely gross here. I'm not even going to lie. He, had, he backed it up to f1. This knight is very strong. You have to get rid of this knight. He played g3 very strong, covering the squares around the king as well with the nice bishop. And this knight had to go. Knight d5 is the best. But he just might just get up out of there. Tell him he has to watch this one. <laughs> oh, man. I have a title, but can't play mister. Yeah. That's funny. Tilted title Tuesday, yes. Some are tilted. Yes, some are tilted. Some are definitely tilted. Yeah, but it happens when you play these hard games, man. Like these games aren't easy by far. I don't think you, you never have an easy game when you play these guys. Never have an easy game. You don't want to go into it like that. You just want to have a comfortable game. What are you used to? What are positions you like to go for? And you know, it does it follow what you've studied if you have things like that? You know, things like that. So, okay, queen takes c6, and actually white is just up in exchange. But it, it, weirdly enough, weirdly enough, in these type of positions where white is up in exchange, you see how the engine says it's zeros, right? You see how the engine says it's zeros. So the reason why it's zeros right now is because it's hard. Black has compensation through the pawns. He has a pass pawn even all the way over here. 
So he's trying to create whatever he can. Hikaru is. D5. Doesn't that lose a pawn? He must have calculated something. Yeah, it feels like this just drops a pawn. But I'm sure he calculated something. Rook D7 is just active counterplay. Active counterplay. That's what he's going for. Yeah, he's definitely going for the active counterplay. Because, you know, here, this is not mate. In fact, you can run away. Check. And then you come with the other rook in here. So he's going to yeah, active counterplay. Yeah, and then maybe try to push this one. At least we might we could get the pawn to here for sure. If pawn takes, this pawn could easily get to these two squares. Which means we would only need two left. So you might tie down the rooks because of it. There it is. Pawn takes. Rook check. Probably check with both the rooks. There it is. There's one. Bring the other one. Hey, there we go, big fella. Snap on a7 and push. Let's just push it. Ain't nothing else to do. Well, he does have this. Oh, yeah. You can't go rook f8. You can't go rook f8. So you just push it. You don't have anything else to do, bro. Just push the pawn. He played bishop d4. Okay. Hitting f2. Keeping some pressure there. King f5. You can play f6. King f6 works. Wait, does it? Aren't you in trouble? Yeah, he tripping. He tripping. Now, now he pushes the pawn. Now he pushes the pawn. It's too late. You can't do this. If you breathe wrong against Hikaru, you lose. If you blink wrong, you blinked. Oh, you should. You blinked too many times. Game's over. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. I just joined it. See, yeah, somebody accidentally resigned. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Yeah, king f5 hung f7, correct. But back here, he should have pushed his pawn when the bishop was on g7. That's what should have happened. Back here, bishop g7 covered the squares he needed, I think. But he also has rook f7 anyway, so maybe rook f7 push, rook d7. Yeah, this is like, this is gross. Sucks, bro. Absolutely sucks. But look how this pawn got down here, though. And it's equal. King g4, I'm straight, right? Should be straight. King g4. Whoa, how does this a draw? Yeah, because that was mate. Oh, that's mate too. Dang, bro, this is nuts. Hikaru, what in the world? G5 takes? What is going on? Stop this. How is this a draw? How is this a draw? Draw what? What are we drawing? What? Yo, this is a queen. Hold on, hold on. Okay, queen. I'm assuming pawn takes. Oh, F5. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Did you see this? Do you see this? Do you see this? How many of y'all would have queen that pawn? How many of y'all would have queen? Because you're not looking at F5. Most people probably take it on G5. F5 is mate. Or close. Close. You have to block with the queen. You got to block with your face. <laughs> Jeez. My goodness. My goodness. And this is still a draw. This is still a draw. My goodness, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. You're the best, bro. Very sharp commentary and tan. Thanks, Minor Tone. Appreciate you, my guy. We in here. And we got the Rook Pawn, but Hikaru plays this out even if it was King Rook, you know, or King versus King. And, and luckily, Jess.com stops that because Hikaru will have many scalps from King versus King flags. Believe it or not, I'm telling you, he's probably even done it, you know. Before on other sites before chess.com was the best Like he probably was doing that if they did not allow the king versus king <laughs> Ma, that's that's nuts. That's nuts. This is a draw. There it is play it out to the finish and the stalemates Great job from chess warrior out of Uzbekistan and uh, let's see. Oh Joe Baba Oh, if he's streaming right now, he probably over there dancing right now right now by dear Joe Baba six out of six Oh, going crazy, man. Yo, Joe Baba. Yo, what's the Russian look like? We have one, two, three, four, forty percent. See, every time we got somebody, there we go. Hikaru representing us, man. Shout out to USA. Hikaru is representing us very strong, but he out here by himself right now. Russia, forty percent strong out of the top ten. They always bring their best. Always, always bring the best. Artemi, you're playing. Yeah, he lost some. He lost. Bo Java, that's funny. Minus five draw against twenty nine thirty. Yep. Yeah. Kind of sucks, huh? Let's see who's next. So let's just check out. Uh, let's see what. Let's just go down the list. Let's just go down the list. Okay, this should be a draw. Could have played King G six to maybe try to play Rook F five, but we know that's not happening. King H six and just check. You just literally could stay around this. Yeah, just like this. 
There's no way. This is probably the easiest way to draw. Usually. Usually. You don't pre-move it because you never know. You can get in trouble pre-moving it. Just stay around the, the, rook, the king. Stay around the king. I can't represent. He is, man. He representing America. Like, that's good. We got somebody up here representing. You know? <laughs> Being the voice of Jessica Commentator. Let's go, MT. I got you. MT, babs. Why, why do they do this? Why do they do this? I don't know. I don't. I'm just like, I would love to just, you know what? This is a draw. Like, this is a draw. Take the rook. Oh, my. Okay. Okay, we're going to be here. And you know what? If you lose this, sometimes you deserve to lose, right? Sometimes you just like, you should have lost that. You should have lost that. What are you playing for? Come on. What are you playing for? The mistake? You know, you might make a mistake. That's the problem with it. So how is, wait, which way is white going? Oh, white's going this way. Sometimes, you know, you ever do those puzzle rush problems where you don't know which way someone's going yet? Oops, let's fix that. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of how it was here. Uh, it looked like white was going the other way, but actually they're queening and they're winning. GG start a new one there. Round seven. Let's actually see the standings real quick. We have four with six right now. Badir Jobava, Misha Nick out of Russia, obviously. One, two, three, 40 percent once again. 40% Russia in the top. We're going to check out the top dog. Misha Nick showing off here. E4, E5, Knight of 3, Knight C6. And we got a Roy. We got a Roy. Shout out to the Roy players in the chat. I was a big fan of the Roy for a long time, of course. It's one of the classics. You should know a Roy. Or even done it. Uh, I can't even constant house. Nah, bro. They just, I don't know. They maybe ambulance, something like that. Castles, Bishop D7. Okay. C3 looks good in H3. These are the usual moves, right? Roy Lopez Theory 101. And Puzzle Rush says white to move. And I spent 15 minutes thinking <laughs> thinking of a move for black. Right. I've been there too, Brian. And I'm like, oh, white's going that way. Like, yeah, it's so funny. Sometimes it happens. That's usually the in-game ones. Usually the in-game ones. What's your Baba's name on Twitch? Uh, James Blunder. I knew it was something strange. I was like, it's not his name. Like, his chess.com name is Exotic Princess. His name's Badir Jobaba. Exotic Princess chess.com name. And then James Blunder on Twitch. Like, just no connections anywhere. No connections. But that is, that's Joe, that's Badir. That's him. His openings actually match his style of, like, player. Jobaba London, strange. But it's too strong, though. But that's his style of play, bro. Like, that's literally that man's style. So, uh, this is, uh, that's him. Let me actually see this, though. Okay, so D4, Bishop E3. Oh, is this another Cozio, bro? Yo, everybody's playing this G6 stuff. Shaq likes this, too. We just talked about not the basketball player. Shaq, Mama Dyer. Off, or Mama Dyer. It's like, I think I I think I keep putting, you know, Mama Dyer, Rolf, something like that. I always like to say Rolf. But Shaq, right? So Shaq plays Bishop G7 all the time in this. In fact, yeah, this is correct. This is what happened. This gives more counterplay, I think. I've never played this G6 one, but this one gives you a lot of play, and I see why he likes it, because it's very, it's aggressive. I played the Roy for white and black for many years, and this is uh, this is the most aggressive I've seen, besides the martial attack, which is a good one. Jan Gustafen actually likes that. Mama die. Mama, let me deer off. Right, there it is. I know I was putting an extra syllable in there. I'll always do that. Let me deer off, because somebody said something else. Let me DR off. Yeah, that's right. James Wonder put his stream broke. Oh, wow. He got problems with the internet. Oh, man. Dang. He's a fan of James Bond and blunders every time. That makes sense. Because, like, he got the strangest names. I'm like, how did he come up with these names? Like, he's, just, he's just such a character. But his, his opening play says the same. Very tactical, aggressive, unorthodox style of opening play. Like, it's very, very strong style. Very strong style. You can learn so much from him. E5. Putting the knight on f6. James Blast reference. Yeah, I didn't know what it was. For. I was like, James Blunder. And I was like, but it's not, it's like his name's not James. Like, I didn't get it. I was like, well, I mean, hey. But also he has Exotic Princess is his chess.com name. So I'm like, hey, you know, he's he's a creative thinker. Very creative. Rook f3, 92 probably. You could take the bishop. Can we play c5 afterwards and play f6? Reason for this is you got to break that center structure up. Or we just bring the knight back to f5 and play c5. Yeah, that's probably a good one too. But he's going for the 92 one. King has to go somewhere, King H1. And we could just snap it or play C5 first. But our knight's trapped in there. So the only way we're getting out is capturing. So we have to kind of capture this. That's the only way we're getting out. 
Chess by stream, I guess, yeah. Mimi Dirov, thank you. The name Blunder, James Blunder. <laughs> the name is Blunder. James Blunder. And then Blunder's a piece. And then that's the whole trailer for the movie. He's runner up in Mr. Dodgy. I saw that actually. Uh, his stream resumed. Let's check. Yeah, go check him out. Let's check that man out. C4, pawn takes. Hey, that was a good move. C4 was strong, bro. My goodness, that was a good move. No video of him, but the music is straight him. Yeah. Where's Neroditsky? Neroditsky is. Let's actually check him in the standings. See where he's at. Uh oh. He might have had. He might have took some L's, maybe. Uh oh. I do not see him, guys. Eric Hansen. Well, shout out to the to the bras. Oh yeah, he's down here. Five out of six. Yeah, he's good. He's good. He's doing fine. He's doing fine. He's just further down. He's just further down. Misha Nick, top dog here. Let's actually check out. Let's see if we can find E Hansen. Here you go. Check out the bras. What Eric Hansen got going on? Looks like he's mating something. Something's getting mated. Or oh, this king over here. You just get left the chat. No, he's playing. He's still playing. So the, he's trying to figure out how do I not lose everything I work so hard for. And in fact, there's actually, yep, Bishop takes e7 was the only move. You had to get rid of that. You had to get rid of that. But it's still technique involved. 95 with no super checks around the king yet. In fact, you actually have work to do as white here. Oh, 97 wins. 97 wins. He just gave him that one. 97. Well, he didn't really give it to him. Knight, Knight of six was coming anyway. 11 rounds. Yes, 11 rounds. 11 rounds. Absolutely. Let's check out Nerdisky playing Arabic Falcon from, uh, where is he from again? Oh, yeah. You, uh, United Arab. Uh, yeah. UAE. He's very strong. Very, very strong. Oh, Nerdisky's not having a good. Oh, man. What happened? 100% premium face blockage after C5. That is not a move. Apparently, the engine was like, nope, try again. Try again, bro. It's so hard playing this game, right? Chess is a hard game. Rook h3, check. Bishop f3. Uh, how do you get in here? It's plus 9? Really? Oh, just take it? And then I was just about to say push, but how do we... What do we do after that? Is it check? He didn't take it. Yeah, king's on the file. I mean, that can't be good. Dang I just don't see it yet. It's minus eight right now. Like, this is nuts. But it doesn't... It's not clear. It is not clear. This is not clear. You don't have a, a check. And you see, he's thinking. And there it is. You got three seconds. Arabic Falcon is like, how do you do this? 90, 93? That's going to trade. I don't want to trade. But my knight is hanging. But I could give it up, though. This is everything he's thinking about. Literally everything he's thinking about right now. 93 takes, takes. And it did go back up. It went from minus eight to equal basically okay now it's minus seven again oh my goodness oh man having to work out that evaluation bar is getting a work a workout look at this back and forth now it's equal with five seconds and one second increment on the clock this is a crazy game now 19 seconds 18 arabic falcon uh what is his bullet rating oh he's 3000 bullet yeah he can he can hang hang with near disky oh yeah that man yeah he can hang hang with near disky he 3k 3k bullet is no joke by far. 96, and now it's about equal again. He put the knight here, not even on time. Nerdisky plays way more bullet, though. He plays 30-second chess, sometimes 100-game matches with Andrew Tang. One person. 100-game matches. So, and now look at this. Somehow he came back. Just take the queen. That's it. Okay, check. Flex real hard. That works, too. That works. And that's it. I mean, Swindle Master himself. Oh, is that a check? Did he block? Oh, no, he's okay. He's, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. For some reason, I thought this rook was hanging. He's okay. Rick C4 hitting the knight. Uh, King E2. Yeah, you can't take just because I'm going to push. And that's a wrap. Wait, H5? How do we win this right now? That makes sense. Just go grab it. Try to. What a game here. What a game. What a comeback for Naraditsky. I've seen him do this on his real stream, though. Like, literally on his real stream. He's done this many times. Adi City, thanks for, thanks for that, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Queen E2. Eval Bar went nuts, James Double, my guy. 23rd warrior appreciate you my guy yeah that was that was crazy yo what is going on i look away and his black's winning okay this is crazy we about to turn this bar off bar about to malfunction <laughs> the bar about to malfunction chess.com gonna have to get a new eval bar they gonna have to fix it something wrong it's going crazy bro it's going nuts
Winning, losing, winning, losing, winning, draw, winning. I don't know anymore. I don't even know no more. <laughs> Just let these boys play. Just let them play. That's probably how most of y'all games be too. You know, when I study, when I'm when I'm winning, there's a draw, nuts, crazy result. But you know, when I'm when I'm studying with students, sometimes or like you know, I'm helping them with their game. I'll see that and like you know, I have seen some games. You know, the 500 games, 500 rated games. Man, I have like, you would never think, you would never think that you could lose a game sometimes. Like, oh, he would never lose this game. But somehow they do. And it's like insane. Or somehow like you was not, you you were not supposed to win that game. Like you could bet your whole life on it that you would never lose that game. And somehow they, they lose or win that game. It's like insane. It's some of the craziest chess you'll ever see. Some of the craziest chess. I know that's some of y'all in the chat. I know it is. And then we're watching GMs. We'll let you know. Oh, yeah, they're human. They're human. A lot of them half human. How did that go up? Oh, he missed knight g2. Oh, he missed knight g2. King was on d6. Oh, my goodness. Knight g2. Yikes. This is why it's supposed to be a draw, right? But, man, stuff like that. Knight g2. And what do you do? You resign. That's what you do. GG. Start a new one. That's over. He's going to try to swindle him because he saw that, oh, you making mistakes? Oh, you're inaccurate. So I'm going to play on. That's exactly what I would be saying. Oh, you're inaccurate. Oh, you're playing quite inaccurate. There we go. There we go. He caught him. He caught him. Caught him with the two-piece. Caught him with the two-piece. Ooh, that was good stuff. It says Maiden 17. What? It says Maiden 17. You see this? M17. Maiden 17. How many of y'all see the Maiden 17? I know I don't. I know I don't. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not. Don't, don't nobody see me in 17 from that position. Okay, well, here we go. Uh, Misha Nick playing Hikaru. The big dog's going at it. Yeah, easy puzzle, duh. Okay, yeah, you know what? Yo, you see that 17 move, mate. I think you need to, uh, you know, go, go and play some V-Day tournaments. See how far, how far you about to get up. You know, just see what happens. Can you please walk us through the 17 move step by step? Okay. Cool, I'm going to do a YouTube video after I do the analysis of it to figure it out. Because I don't know. I don't know. Give me a week and I might find the A, you know? You know, that's quick. Some people might take a month. Some people might take years. That's, that's pretty sad. That's pretty sad. You just pray for him. So knight takes C3. Uh, what is this? Why is this bishop hanging? Why is this bishop hanging? Bishop F4, G3, hit the queen. I get out the way. He played G5. I take because E4 is hanging. Oh, that was a nice tactic. And then take and E4 is still hanging. Okay, then move the bishop. So he's now he's going to move the bishop. Or he could take up the knight. I really like white's position, in fact. I think G5 is an outlandish move. And E6, this is definitely a way to counter that. But he does help black develop here. And black's honestly doing just fine. Especially after capturing. There's a draw offer from somebody. Oh, wow. Hikaru said, draw what, my guy? Hold on. You know, draw, draw what? Smacked it right out of his hand, you know. I'm not drawing nothing. Hold on. There it is. And who offered the next time? Now they agreed. I think Hikaru might have offered right after. But the bishop. Oh, well, shoot. Is this? I'm sorry. Was there a pawn here? Oh, no. F takes G3. Yep. And then bishop H3. Honestly, white could play on, but black could too. You got this diagonal. They just took a, a peaceful draw, though. Yeah, whatever, bro. Seven and a half and seven. You know, seven and a half and seven. That's crazy. What were you just saying? Right. He just took it, bro. I'm not taking a draw. And then he, he he declined it and then was like, all right, I'll take it. Whatever. I, I got second place. He probably looked at the standings and was like, okay, I'll take it. So I don't have to play so hard for this next game. This is round eight. Let's actually check and see if or yeah, how many games we got left. Oh, let's check out Joe Badir Joe Baba playing um, Artemiev out of Russia. Out of Russia. What was this? Queen's game declined. Uh, nice structure for white, and I mean not nice structure. It's not the nicest, but I like the so the solidity of the position. It's a very solid position. King G two, very nice. This D five pawn's hanging. If pawn takes, then we actually blockade the weak pawn, which is the isolated pawn. And again, how many times did we say this today? Pawn structure being the GPS. The pawn structure tells you how you should play your entire game. So with this being isolated, we do want to trade pieces. We do want to attack this pawn, and we do need to get our king to to a safe square and actually cover the light squares. And try not to trade this light square bishop unless it's for his. And also get the rooks to the file with a smile. So pretty nice stuff here. Pretty nice stuff for white. Pretty nice stuff. Yeah, they're playing for money, absolutely. Yeah, there's uh, prizes on the line. 700 for first. First place, 700. 
700, uh, 750. Actually, now, now I'm curious. 750, there it is. There it is. 750 right there. Got it. Bishop H7 check. All right, so you went to King F8. The reason why you went King F8, guys, is if, think about this, if things happen, and first, well, there, there's two reasons. And one of them is really big, which if you put the king on H8, man, I mean, Knight G5 might be winning because you're just opening the file here and your king is right there. And it's just a matter of time for you made it in a few. And King F8, though, King F8 is really good because if we trade pieces, whose king is closer to the center? That's very nice. King F8. Uh, yeah, that's King F8. Who is Exotic Princess? That's um Badir Jobaba. Why aren't you playing James? Well, one, I'm doing the commentary. Two, I like the free lessons here. And three, I usually just study. I'm studying more. I'm playing in OTB tournaments. I actually have a tournament next week. So my main focus right now on anything is getting ready to go norm up for this tournament. Commentator's good. Thanks, so Storm. Appreciate you, bro. Bishop E6. I wonder. I really want to play Knight G5. But the file's blocked. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Then we kick the Knight. He can't play King E7. Yeah, I don't have a check back here. So it doesn't matter. And, and you can't try that kind of stuff on Artemiev, you know, young Russian, you know, 31-16. You have to be accurate. There is no, like, I mean, it might work. Like, there, there's no room for that. Not with this guy. Not with this guy. You can try that on other people, but not with this guy. Tuesday seated. Yep, you're quick enough to come to you. Ice hockey. Ice hockey. Nice. 95, rookie 5, A3, snap on C3. Oh, uh-oh, I'm loving white now. We do have an open file, but it can be blocked immediately. So actually, this might be a draw. I think White should fight on though. White should definitely, like, look at this knight. Very strong. And the counterpart cannot do the same. In fact, if you do go G6, I mean, I, I'm forced to sacrifice it. Does H5 work first, though? Might be H5 first. It is a possibility. No, there's Bishop F5 in there. Nope. You have to sack it. You would have to sack because Bishop F5 is detrimental. You cannot allow this. So, yeah, there's B6, by the way. B6 is on the board. Rookie 2 is nice. And then, uh, yeah, Rookie 2 here. We're going to double up. Double the rooks. Dub on the bub here. Oh, 19 seconds. You have no time. He has no time. I did not know that. He has no time, bro. Wow, you in trouble. Push for the FM title. I don't. I mean, I don't care about it, to be honest. MSU, I've already, like, beat many play many many fms like i'm like i'm like just going for the big boy title like i don't even care about that you can listen to him on twitch right now his name is james Mutter. yep that's right yeah, he's out of time he's out of time you have to sack this you might as well move it and i would do it quickly because he's getting out of time he's running out of time so there's no like, if you don't take this he's going to take the bishop right right so uh, i think he's thinking about the follow-up because after bishop takes do i take with the knight or the queen because queen g7 is going to slide in and start defending when also slightly attacking you luckily it's defended nicely but uh, h5 again you cannot allow bishop f5 we talked about this already that's game over so you have to either take with the knight or the bishop here and i think bishop takes probably best because you keep this knight here this knight's a, 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 a very very strong piece a very strong piece this bishop yes is strong but i i, I gotta choose what happened Oh, is he having internet issues? Oh, my goodness. He might be having an internet problem. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he moved. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is nuts. That is nuts. Joe, I am a GM hopes. Oh, yeah, both. Absolutely. I think Tony B can't see the FM. Probably not. Probably not. Um, it's just a lot. A few days are hard. A few days are very hard. You can get very quickly up to like 2200, but then above that, bro, it's very hard. But, you know, it's always good. Oh, he's out of time. Yo, he's out of time. Internet winning tournament. Yo, does it, is anybody in his stream, was it his tournament? I mean, was it what is it, was it his internet? Does anybody know? Because he had a very ugly thing there. That was gross. Like, time conversion-wise, that was gross. Like, go back a few moves. Yo, look at this time difference. Look at this. Bro, look at the time difference. You have no business losing this game. Unless, unless it was the internet issue. He up a whole minute. Bro, come on, right? That hurts. It had to be. I hope it was his internet, man, because that hurts. That's one of those annoying ones. I think so. His stream ended earlier, too. That's a rough one, bro. Especially when you were winning. Like, you felt like the position was flowing very nice for you. Very nice flow for you, right? I just think that uh that kind of hurts. I'm not even gonna lie for your man's, but oh, it's all good. Seven and a half out of eight, yeah. And you always have every week, and you just get better. What can I learn from it, right? Every single game should be like that. What can I learn from it? 
What can I learn from it? Oh, let's check out E. Hansen. What you got for us? Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again, which way are we going? I thought black was going this way. I just looked at the board, didn't look at the coordinates. I thought black was going this way, but he was not. Black's going this way. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, wait, what happened? He was thinking. He was thinking? He was thinking? Dang, man. I mean, she's. He was thinking. He took a whole minute there and lost on time afterwards. And he's not, he's not like that. Arabic Falcon's winning. You and it, you know, for the beginners in the chat or people that don't understand, why is he winning? Well, first off, the king. Oh wow, it's equal now. But secondly, wait. Oh, that's why it's a draw. He ain't made it. Oh, he's not made it. The thing here is having two rooks is better than having a queen. Then when you add an extra material like the three pawns, you know, white could easily be winning here. But your king needs to be safe. Oh yeah, this could be winning. Yo, you got to be winning. You got to be winning. Yeah, it's a draw, but I think this is what they call the engine draw. Engine draw. The engine know how to draw this, but a human, look at that, right? Mate in 21. <laughs> Mate in 21, right? Engine know how to draw this, but how does a human draw this? Much harder to do. Much harder to do. I just, I can sidestep you. Sidestep. I'm out your way. Rook check. He could have checked him and then queened. That was much better. But Rook G3 works too. Yeah, now you got to do all this extra work, right? All this extra Okay, now we queen and we win. Two rooks, though, is better than a queen. Usually. Usually. You have to keep them connected, like he did in this game. And then if you got extra material, if it was just the two rooks, you'd probably drop. But with the two rooks and the two pawns? Oh, no. Oh, no, nah, bro. If you don't have no more material, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Renato, I haven't talked about him in a while. He's a very strong international master. In fact, he used to be in the top all the time. But as you can tell, his, I mean, his rating is 28.43. Come on now. This one's a draw too. Look at the checks. Luckily, he found the right diagonal to just go back and forth with the checks like a madman. And he's found it. He has found the way to draw and draw by repetition. Very nice because if he does not find that, he actually loses via queening from um, from his opponent. So, yeah, I'm surprised. So, uh, thanks, Riali. Appreciate it, man. Uh, yep, yep. So, let's check out let's check out the standings. Misha Nick, first place. Le Levon. Oh, yeah, Levon. This is uh, the guy from Georgia. Second place, Hikaru in third with seven bogdan and everyone else but wow i mean this is round eight with three rounds to go so guys don't go anywhere okay we got some big boy chess left three more rounds here we're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back don't go anywhere
And we're back, guys. We are back. Let's uh, see. Games are going to be starting in literally. Oh, actually, right now they just started. All right, let's see what we got. We got a uh, ooh, Sieb Elephant, which is uh, Artemiev, and we have uh, Misha Nick again. Well, not again, but they're playing now. We just saw Icaro and Misha Nick. So now we have another big boy game here from Big Fellas. Now, if you check, let's actually see. Let's count the Russians. <laughs> It's the game we've been playing here. One, two, three. Thirty percent. So they actually went down one. Is anyone else? So really, yeah, well, Russia's still holding it down out of like all of the everyone, right? In the top ten at least. Three people from Russia and everyone else is from another place. We have India, Bel Belarus, Belarus, never heard of that one. Uzbekistan, UAE, Romania, and Georgia. And two in the U.S. We actually got two. Ikaru and... Oh, no. It was just one. I thought I saw a second one. <laughs> I just had my hopes up to seeing a second one. <laughs> representing. Representing. Oh, man. Eric, game just started. He went to the bathroom. Oh, he going to come back. Dang. Belarus. Thank you. Thank you for that. It's not fast. Belarus. Knight d4 is a very strong move. I don't see why not. Oh, knight d2, though. I do like slightly better because it does hit the weak pawn. I mean, just attack the weak pawn. Small country in Europe. Yeah, I've actually, I've heard of it, but I've like, I just don't know. I didn't know where it was at all. It's almost Russia. Really, east of Poland. Wow. Dang, bro. Y'all all know. Like, yeah. yo, bro, it's east of Poland. It's small country in Europe. Like, you know this. It's almost Russia. It's Belarus. Like, y'all, y'all been there. Y'all been there. It's huge. Oh, my goodness. Isn't small, man. Oh shoot. Okay, they going crazy. Belar Belarus deep. Okay, in the chat. So Bishop E5 is very oh yeah, yeah. That's hanging a piece. That's face blockage 101. So you can't do that. Bishop E5 is not a move. But you can't put this bishop on B7. Hit the weak pawn. I like white here. I like white here. I think white's doing well. I like this pressure we have. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful move. You can't play B5, which would dislodge this knight, which is the connects the pawn. So he plays bishop a6 so we can capture. So you might see it work A to D1. Because the F rook's doing a great job of doing something. We might even break with F3 or F4 later. And may use this rook on the F file. But rook A to D1 could be nice. You could see rook F to D. Really, either or will be fine. Because A4, A5 for this rook if you're going to do that. This does leave this pawn weak. But it's defended by the C3 knight. Which we need to move anyway to expose this file. But you can't move because this pawn's hanging. So rook A to D1 is the best move. It should be. Oh, he plays knight D5. I like it. I like it. But what about bishop takes? He's going to take with the bishop, not the queen. Because you need to keep this file here. You have to take with the bishop. Bishop takes. And then what if queen takes? So he's just going to trade everything off. He's just going to trade. Maybe queen takes d6. And then if you take, well, I take. I'm going to take with the queen, though. Is queen d5 real? There it is. Queen takes. But if takes, queen takes, right? Is queen d5? That is a move. He took with the pawn instead. Yeah, I think he was afraid of queen d5. Taking on f7, mate here. Hitting the queen if you take on b2. That was crazy. So f6, a structural damage here and we have to trade or even play g3 i probably would not trade in fact his bishop is terrible on b8 so i'm going to play g3 and then queen takes and takes and leave his bishop being bad but he's going to play bishop b5 afterwards so what do we do we gotta we gotta face the mate that's number one so we either taking or playing g3 what about f4 that's a nuts move he played g3 but i liked f4 because if en passant rook takes let him have this pawn and the idea here is to just Get the king out of the way and still go for mate without trading queens. That was the goal. F4 would have been kind of nuts, but I'm into that kind of chess. My favorite player is Tal, right? F4. F4, block it. He en passant, rook takes. Queen takes h2 and then king f2. And I'm hitting f6 still. But he has bishop e5 there. That's probably why. Well, queen g4 check. That's nuts. That's a nuts position. And his bishop's still here. That's nuts. That is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. But g3 happened, and bishop c7, black's doing fine. Black's doing fine. 100% fine. No problems. Yeah, you have to jump on the opportunity immediately. If you have, if you think you have an opportunity, now, of course, when you think you have an opportunity, the way to know if you have an opportunity and if it works is usually through calculation. Calculation is king. That's why Fabi, one of the strongest players on the planet, 
is uh probably not one of the he's not he's just not one of the greatest blitz he's still excellent what 2800 29 but you know there's there's higher rated you would think being you know number two you would have the number two and everything blitz and bullet and stuff like that but he calculates like a machine all the way to the finish all the way to the finish and that takes time to do so you know and not more intuitive it's just calculation calculation is king you might feel it that it i feel that it works intuition i feel it works but does it work there's a difference between feeling does it work and does it work. And the calculation is king in every position, no matter what. If you can out-calculate, you're going to do better. That's just how it goes. See, I haven't seen perfected maps as a species yet. <laughs> right. Thanks, Dota Darkness. Appreciate you, my guy. Rook takes C5 is coming. I like White's position. Once again, we have domination of just the squares. We have more active pieces. We have the same pieces, but our pieces are more active than yours. That's a huge thing to think about. In equal positions, who is more active? Who's got more stuff going on? White's extremely active here. Rook D7. I mean, look at this. I got both the rooks on a seventh rank. My system, Aaron Imzowicz, they talk about don't give you, don't give them the seventh rank. Never give it to them. Now that's like impossible. You know, you there's no way they're going to get the seventh rank sometimes. But you try not to is what he's saying. And this is a very bad. Now Rook F8. You know, you you're going to have to go on defense when we go around the other way. Now, he has bishop c3. Luckily, he's saved, but then the king might get into the play. Maybe king f3, uh, bishop b4. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. And he can just walk the king up. So, in fact, it is drawn. It should be drawn. So, you can just walk the king up and just kind of chill. White should probably play something like h4, h5, and g4. Just to connect, just to keep the king from advancing. He's not going to go this far up. If he can, if he can get there, he will. But it's going to be very hard to do so. Uh, and this pawn's hanging right now. He plays f5, rookie 5 obvious, king g7, there it is, takes, and king g6. But, oh, yeah, I was about to say, all right, king g6 runs back into rookie 5 again. So he plays f6, goes to the 7th rank, and he's only winning right now because of his activity. Why his activity? He's active. The more active you become, the more opportunities you give yourself. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Rook check, king g7, g4. That's just, that's too much. Don't play g4. f3, though. f3 is a move, but it does break my pawn structure. There's nothing I can really do about breaking a pawn structure. So F3 is going to have to be played eventually here. White got 12 seconds on the clock trying to figure this out. Misha Nick is holding and um, sitting here fighting for his absolute life here. But it does look equal. I mean, same amount of material. White's just more active. This bishop is gross compared to the counterpart or the opposite color. Is this bishop, which is doing a great job of doing stuff. Maybe just go back. Repeat. There it is. King G7. Rook check, king f, oh yeah, you gotta go king g6, don't hang the pawn. h4, maybe, yeah. I like this move, rook d2, rook b2, king g7, yeah, he's, oh, he's trying to work him. Ooh, can you do this then? He's trying to work me. Whoa, whoa, there it is, h6, king h7. Uh, okay, just step back up. What you doing? You should have stepped up, king h7. Oh my goodness. Face blockage 101, that is not a move. The man has jumped off the deep end. That's a wrap, sir. That's a wrap. That's a rapster. H6 was great. Oh, yeah, even better. And then H6 with mating nets. Rick F6. Oh, my goodness. 100% premium face blockage. This is not a move. GG, that's over. Bishop F5, and we live. Check him. Get him off the board. Rick F8. GG. Rick F8 ends it. Ooh, Rick F7 was even better. I like that Rick F7 a little bit better, actually. So, Rick F7 is a little bit better. Queen, Queen C8. Uh, he got to be careful, though. He has to be careful still. I'm taking with check. I'm good. We out of the woods. We good. We good. Just don't let him push this pawn, though. Don't let him push this pawn. Just push. I mean, you kind of don't have a choice. Is he going to take a draw? Really? Oh, he got two seconds. Three seconds. It might be a draw. Misha Nick might, might come out of this with a draw. Uh, there it is. He did push. He did push. Yo, he had a check here. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Wait, wait, wait. Did he have G6 there? He might have G6 in some cases. This is a scary game. And I'm talking about for both sides. Scary game. I don't know who's going to win this. Oh, that's beautiful. There's mate somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, my goodness. He found it, bro. That was nuts. That was crazy. Back here. He just blundered back here. He blundered all the way back here, bro. A lot of moves after that. Dang. Right here. I think he just goes back to king h7. He went king h8, right? And then he went here. 
Oh, but he's hitting two pawns. Yikes. Yeah, all because of activity. How many times did we say that? You know, oh, his pieces are more active. And because his pieces were more active, he just won the game. It wasn't nothing too serious. It was just active pieces. And he won this game due to the activity. That's like, yikes, bro. Activity. And yeah, I'm telling you, bro, you know, active. Oh, eight and a half. He came out of nowhere, literally. We kind of seen him hovering around. Now he's the top dog. Eight and a half. How many Russians we got? One, two, three. There we go. 40%. This is insane. Like, they literally, like, contract these guys. They have to. They contract them to do this. It's four. Oh, we got Aryan Tari here. Aryan Tari is playing this top dog here, Levon Pansuleya here from Georgia. From Georgia. Great commentary. Thanks, T-Dub. Appreciate you. Chronic. What's up, bro? Island Blacks. Oh, can't come It's a different experience. <laughs> Oh, man, Landbags, love you. Appreciate it. 100% replay, K. 100%. Absolutely. Premium. And 100% uh, natural phase blockage. C4, Aryan Tari out of Norway. Very super, super, super strong. We know our Aryan. This is a ready or something. King's Indian. Uh, uh, King's Indian attack. Let's get that right. Knight A3 here with Knight takes C4. Yeah, this is literally the reverse King's Indian. It's, it's the reverse King's Indian. So just think of that. King's Indian. Usually, that you'll see in black, it's the reverse. So you do it for white. Same thing. No American top 10. Dang. Dang. Man, we had a run. I mean, you know, Kikaru. You know, he was, we was, we was, Hikaru, let's go. You know, everybody hype. Let's go. Ah. Flexing real hard and like turned up. You know, because we got Hikaru. Let's go, bro. Ah. And uh, he's not there, man. He's not there. That's okay, though. I mean, we know what he is. He kind of represents very well for, for us. Lost focus and lost last game. That's okay. He lost, right? But it's still three rounds left. Like, you know, I always say this. You can make it to the top in these tournaments. Um, You can't lose more than two games, though. Like, you can lose a game and still be okay. But you, you can't lose more than, like, two games to be a top performer in these. Top performer. You know? Is Jordan Van Forrest up there? I'm not sure. Oh, he is. He right here. Number seven. Yeah, there you go. Netherlands. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he came to represent this time. He's like, let's go. I'm out here. I'm out here. Yo, look at this cube. The night cube. Shout out to Eric Rosen. Uh, that's where I got the terminology from. Cube. The uh, pun cube. Uh, guys, we're going to make a pun cube. Yeah, we're going to need the pun cube. Night cube here. Tari's doing well, yeah. Is Eric Rosen playing? Anybody know? Kara Stream Branson plays, yeah. Knights, Knights, this, that was pretty cool. You usually never see this. Like, let's just go that back more. <laughs> yeah, he's just so humble and so just, cool. it's just the calmest person that you've ever met. I think he's the calmest chess player I know. The calmest chess player ever is Eric Rosen. Just super calm. Did you see when he played Levy? You see that? How calm he was? Bro, he was so calm. Even in times where it was like nuts. No expression. Losing, no expression. Winning, no expression. Bro, you definitely have to you have to use that. Like that's something to look forward to. That's something to look up to. And when it comes to like a a, a mentality, right? Mentality. He's just super chill, bro. Win, lose, draw. Same dude. Super chill. It's a great mentality. Queen C1. <laughs> Queen H6, because, you know, we lose games. We be, you know, you know, what is uh Daniel Nerdisky has the mouse emote for breaking a mouse, right? Slamming the mouse, <laughs> but he wants to win, right? I understand that. I understand that. And Eric Rosen loses. Okay, cool. Analyze next game. It's all good, man. It's all good. It's like very chill, bro. It's beautiful. He's by his hitter to keep from yelling. Hey, yeah, he does something. He does. He did. Yeah, we saw that. But still, it seemed like he was gone. I actually did say that too. He did say that. I remember that in the post game. What did he say? Um, he was like, "Yeah, you know, on the inside, I was very nervous." But it was like, "Yeah, we did could we never could tell, bro. We never could tell." He will live above the age of ninety. <laughs> Bishop F seven is on the board. Ariantari playing Levon here from Georgia. I really like Black's position, to be honest. Engine does say as well but i think as a human here i think i like blacks more with the activity we have pawn breaks and g5 is very strong of course after bishop takes now we get rid of that very very good knight that black had but now we don't have a bishop to cover the light squares 
we do have to play, make moves like F3 to shut down this whole diagonal. Because if we don't, we're in trouble. So now it's knight versus bishop. But in fact, if you think about this, this is one of the end games where it's good knight versus bad bishop. So all he has to do is really finesse this. You have to kind of trade trade down. It would be good to make some trades, some heavy trades. Heavy meaning rooks and queens. Like just, and, But it's going to be hard to do that with the defile on lockdown. On super lock lock okay you are not getting to the d file you couldn't even pay to get the d file it's just not happening so we got to figure out another way or something else so he plays queen to c3 but black definitely has an advantage here dan dan uses a pretty expensive mouse too smashing is gonna be an expensive hobby yeah i'm like yeah i didn't know how expensive mice could be like i was like hundred dollars for a mouse dang but now i understand i have a very nice mouse I understand, but man, I was like, yo, that's expensive, bro. I never paid that much for a mouse. Yeah, you couldn't pay to get the default, my guy. What do you use? I have a Logitech. I have two Logitechs. One's a lighter one, and one's a heavier one. But uh, I got two of them. I can't remember the model. It's on my stream. I have it on there. <laughs> you mean a real mouse? Yes, that's exactly what we mean. A real mouse with the tail and everything, bro. Absolutely. Yeah, that's 100% right. A Gucci mouse. That would be fire, Vicious. That would be absolutely fire. E3, pawn takes, probably just take this. You can't sit, he can't sit here. Maybe, if I play F3 though, that's too risky. But I'm into that, man. I, <laughs> there you go. Come on, LeVon. Come on, big fella. I like it. I like it. But I don't like that this is going to be here and it can be easily defended. But, hey, I mean, you can't remove, oh, he's going to sack. He's going to sack on you. That's why he played queen takes B5, so he can answer with queen G5. Because this man going to sack his whole life on everything you own. And Aryan Tari is a uh, very long time here. He's in trouble. Wireless here. Okay. Yeah, you got to be careful with wireless. Um, because imagine you're playing a bullet game or a blitz game, right? You might you about to get your new rating high and your mouse go out. Let's just get some silence in the chat. Just silence. Silence. You feel that? I know. I, that hurt me too. Oh man, I've done that many times. So you have to have, you need to have the cord. Have the cord, bro. Do not play around. Have the cord. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself. Yeah, you have to have the wire. You have to have the wire. Rest in peace to all the wireless mouse users out there. <laughs> Rest in peace. If you play, hey, one day it's going to run out while you're playing. And it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Saints for wireless headphones. Yeah, yeah that, that's cool. Wireless headphones, you can at least plug up, though, and stuff like that. I got wireless and wired. So this one is, honestly, shoot. It says white's better. Well, he's up a pawn, so that makes sense. He's up a pawn. Hmm. I don't think it's that easy, though. I just not, It's just not that easy. Yeah, I'm up a pawn is white, but it's literally not easy. What, I was about to say, what if I just take this, bro? Now I'm up two pawns. Um... Yeah, that's a beautiful move. Oh, wow. Dang. Engine said that was not a beautiful move. But it felt great. I mean, it felt absolutely beautiful. Hit the bishop. Make a threat, right? It was not a move, though. Happened to you? Yeah. Not fun, right? And then you flag. Yeah. And then you might go on tilt after that, right? You was at your highest. Oh, I was at 1899 and then dropped 100 points after my mouse went out. You know, it's the, it's the, the it could throw you off. It could throw you off. Throw you off your game here. Things like that. So make sure you get that wire, bro. Get the wire. Just don't do not do that to yourself. Bring the king in. King g4. Oh, that's good. Rookie six. Oh, he's oh, he did steal that pawn from him, didn't he? Dang. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yo, I'll be so mad. If I was, I'll be so mad right now if I was playing white. Oh, he was losing. Was that mate? <gasps> oh, my goodness. He missed made one. He missed made one. Wow, that was a draw. But he missed mate in one, bro. Yeah. I hope this makes you feel better about yourself and your games, okay? Even the grandmasters do it, right? They just do it way less. Way, 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 way less. But they still do it. They human. Half human, right? You keep rook checked. Miss mate. He missed it. Didn't even do it. Didn't even think of it. Now, of course, he has six seconds here, too. You always look for your checks and captures. It's crazy. Wow. That's crazy there. That's crazy. Okay, this is a draw. Should be. Let's check the standings. 
We got Levant first place, and, and right behind him is his buddy. Look at the Russians, though. Second, third, fourth. Russia, Russia, Russia. But they are missing one. It was 40%. Now they're at 30%. India right behind them with 20%. Here's Prague right here, actually. Got ninth place. Prague and another Indian GM. So India is in second place when it comes to, like, country representation. Like me, like the country repping hard, you know, repping hard. We got Russia in first, and India is second. Thank you, Rishan Chan. Appreciate you, my guy. Have me a half computer. Are you right. Come on now, Bill Bamba. Bill Bod Balda. What's up, Grand Knights? What's going on, bro? Are Timmy have a favorite to win? Yes, he is one of the favorites. Can't tease the boss things, bro. I think yeah, he's a favorite to win, but also um Lev Levan is too. I, I keep saying Levan because you I'm used to Levan with the O, but uh, I'm sure it's Levan. But he's uh this guy's um he's in first. It's between these two. It's between these two. It's probably going to run away with it. Speedy Indian, what's up, bro? What's going on? Paint Clouds, what up, man? What up? That was a draw, right? Yeah, it was a draw. Okay. Cool. That's round 10. Last round is starting. Oh, the big boy's going at it. The people that, like, this is all or nothing right here. It's getting hot out here in the East Coast. Yo, it's hot over here, too. I'm in the Midwest. I'm in Michigan. So it's hot. And I'm like, yo, I am hot, bro. Like, I am hot. So I threw on like the little, you know, tropical shirt because it's hot out here today. Michigan, it's like 80 degrees, bro. 85, something like that. It's hot out here, man. Summertime. It's coming. So C4, C5, symmetrical. Very symmetrical. Oh, this was in English. I hate the English. I understand going for the symmetrical setup. I hate the English still. But, I mean, I play, uh, man, it's not hot. <laughs> Delusional, that's funny. That was funny. That caught my attention. Man, it's not hot. Michigan, Psy, go Bucks, uh, whatever. Hey, I appreciate it. Theoretical draw incoming. Yeah, this is very boring chess. In fact, I faced the English. I've played the symmetrical English with black twice over the board. Two draws. One guy was like 2150. I was very pissed about that because I'm not draw. I don't draw 2100s. Like, I was just mad. I was very mad about that one. But then I found out the guy beat uh, Spassky back in the day. I was like, oh, so he was just, oh, he was like smurfing. Like, he's really good. Like, oh, well, that made me feel a little better. There's a draw. Look at that. Theoretical draw. And then the other draw was the international master. But it was, it was like symmetrical. Like it's so boring. So I got some new stuff against him now. But man, that stuff is so boring. Here we go. We got Min Lee. Yo, I do not like his position though. Maybe. What, 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 what was this? What was this opening? Looks like some type of Sicilian. Oh, yeah. He plays this weird one. This is the Nimzo Sicilian. Hey, guys. If you want something new to play. Now, it's not this new. But it's like. It's, it's all like you don't see this Sicilian that much. This is an aggressive one, and he actually plays this a lot. Min Lee is very strong with this. It, it looks like it, which actually transposed to some type of Alapin almost. But nice, they, they just wanted to draw, like they just took a very easy draw. So they both have nine and a half. But if below, below day or daw and uh, drop stone, if any or anybody with eight and a half, I mean, that was I think that was a very bad draw decision. Because, like, they all can catch them, which cuts the prize money. Now, they, they tie for first, straight up. In fact, actually, I think Levon actually gets it. Yeah, he got he got the best tie breaks. He got the best tie breaks. If you see, yeah, he got the best tie breaks, 57.5. So I don't think anybody can catch him. In fact, I think he just just walk away with clear first due to tie breaks. Uh, but let's finish this game out. H5, bishop b 2 queen, queen H4, bishop G5. Uh, Black's doing fine now. Weirdly enough, he, you know, he got rid of that pawn. In fact, look at Black having both central pawns and White having none. That's a huge thing. Casting queen side could be risky, but very fun. Just because the queen sits right here where the king is. That's why they say always play king b1. Stuff like that. Well, you know who says that. That's, uh, Feingold says that stuff, right? You know, always play king b1. And if you castle queen side, you will get in trouble. b5 is going to be annoying because now after casting queen side, the rook can launch down here. Kind of mess you up. So you got to be careful. Takes maybe pawn takes. No, I, I like white, but it's not enough. Look at the center though. Oof, man, you gotta be careful. Be very careful. I think it's a uh, unbalanced though. Very unbalanced game. Could a game of winners might be high. Yeah, it's tie break. Yeah, tie break. Yeah, because they get money right. So they they they're gonna do the tie breaks because there's money involved. So they definitely use those tie breaks to get clear winners. Ooh, d4. That's a good move. We have to figure out where this knight's gonna go. Ooh, black's just winning. Maybe. So what's the move? Queen d5 doesn't hit anything. Well, all right. Uh, uh, castles? Really? Oh, he's saying if g6, then h6. And if h6, then g6. Uh, who had that? Petrosian? Petrosian had a game like that. 
queen side blockage. If a6, it was b5 or b4, something like that. And then the other way around, if it was b4, it was a4, something like that. Something like that. But yes, you just got to push past it. So if you push one, and this is, there it is, right? If you push one, I usually push the other. There it is. And you lock it up like this. So this is a very good technique for you to learn, actually. You know, hey, we it looks scary, but looks are very deceiving in chess. Again, calculation is king. So you need to make sure you calculate it correctly. This is all locked up. So you're not getting in here unless you sack a piece, which is impossible because I have the piece. I have the square you need on lock, which is the G4 square. This knight would have to get to G4 to sack or G5. But even then, I don't have to take it when you get to G5. So that's uh, not easy. In fact, if I get the knight to g5, knight f7, then sack, I got something for real. But I think he's just doing too much. Queen d6, hopping right into this. Like, I think it's, uh, the pieces are so uncoordinated for white. It's like, just slop. Just, just, if you just threw the pieces on the board, this is a position you will get for white. That's exactly what we got right here, bro. Oh, man, that is kind of funny. Millie, let's go, Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that's kind of funny because like this, this is what this position looks like. Just throwing pieces around the board. You need to practice seven pieces on the D file. Oh my goodness, you're right. One, two, three, four. What is, there was a piece on the D file. Five, six, seven pieces on the D file. Can you believe that, bro? There was seven pieces on this file here. Wow. Well, after King H8, King H8, there's no way of getting in here. Like you can't get in here. You can't get in here. That's that's very and your queen's very trapped. Is Rick F six very close to trapping the queen? Very close. You have queen e two and you out the way. Have a nice day. Knight takes f four is actually a pawn. That's a wrap. GG. Start a new one. Rook hanging. Queen hanging. Everything hanging. Rook takes. Queen takes. This is a wrap. Min does this to GMs every day. Okay, just letting you know. You know, Min Lee does this for real. He does this for real. Obviously, Min Lee is turning up in this game. As you see, you can't even get to the king. You can't get to the king. There's nothing you can do. This hurts to see. Man, you, you have English positions like this with the white pieces. Usually, white will have a bind in a way that black can't move anything. In this position, white barely can move anything. You can't break through on this side. The rook is the best piece you have. You have no shelter for the king. Where? Oh, oh there you go. Okay, that, that's a wrap. Maybe queen, oh, queen f7 would be fun, but it doesn't work because the bishop defends the rook. If this bishop happened to be gone, queen f7 could be very, very strong. In fact, winning. In fact, winning on the spot. Yeah. I am. No, he's a yeah, omni, omni perspective. Yeah, he's going to uh, he's going to be playing a tournament soon. Yeah, he's just he's just probably going to let his time run out. I mean, whatever here. Is this a real? Oh, oh, he just sacked it on him. Dang, man. Really? Uh, bishop f1? Oh, but then it check. Just take the knight. Why are you still playing this out, bro? Why are you still playing this out? Come on. There you go. He he wanted that last trick. I understand. Just to see if he's hanging. <laughs> hanging, mate. Because it does happen. I've actually done that before. Down a whole exchange for nothing. And I'm like, eh, let me just play on. I hate this game. And then you the hang, mate. And like, oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. Nerdisky and Prague here. Wow. And Prague is apparently crushing Daniel Nerdisky right now. Yikes. This is an ugly position. Dang, we come in and Daniel just got destroyed. Just bad game. This was a bad game, but if you look at it, he got eight points, which means he, what, lost three times, maybe some draws in between, something like that, maybe lost once, two draws, whatever, whatever, however this added up, he got eight points, he got eight points, but think about that, right, he still played extremely strong chess, extremely strong chess here, he just got, you know, it wasn't the best for him, not this game, he could have finished very strong there, which he still finished strong, you know, eight, but not what he wanted, not what he wanted, he's very hard on himself, so he's like, yes, a disappointment, man, Oh, I'm garbage, but I'm 3,200. Like, it'd be so funny. In his stream, he'd be talking like, oh, I'm so, I suck, man. Oh, man, I'm playing so bad, but he'd be 3,300. And like, oh, okay. So what you saying about us then? Like, what you saying about us? We just garbage, huh? Everybody just, just super garbage compared to you. <laughs> no, he's a, he's very humble though. Very nice. But he always says that. If you ever in his stream, bro, he's always, oh, I, oh, I'm losing. This is unacceptable, but he's up 10 games. It's unacceptable. That, that, that's the kind of, you know, um, you you want to have that for yourself, right? You want to always be better than you were yesterday. Oh, yeah, you're right. Let me update the score right here. Nine and a halfs. Look at all these nine and a halfs. Look at all these nine and a halfs. All right. 
all these nine and a halfs. This is textbook. Easy. Walk them, connect them, as you see I'm doing. Defend the square, connect them. Defend the square, connect them. GG. Shout out to Chessically Inclined. Very strong. Did he win? Oh, it was a draw. Okay. How many points he finished with? Six and a half. Yeah. My my top score was six and a half. I think I've always finished with like either six, six and a half, five, five and a half. I've never gotten seven yet. That's a goal. That's a goal. Hitting seven. Here. Take, take. King up. Check. So it's winning, but you got to be careful. You have to proceed with caution. You don't want this knight sacking on. It's kind of hard to sack on both. Oh, he just flagged. Yeah, if it was one pawn, that would probably be a draw. I wonder if this is like young kid or young KID, you know, because King's Indian defenses, that'd be pretty cool. Young King's Indian, you know, that's so funny. Like a rap name, Young King's Indian. Stop, just stop right now. This is a, wait, this is not a draw. Oh, now it is. Wow. Yo, see, no, it's a draw. He got to check him. He got to check him to avoid mate. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's a draw. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's a draw. Straight back opposition. Straight back opposition. Well, oh, that's a wrap. Let's actually check real quick. Let's actually check real quick. Young Elo versus Young KD. <laughs> Yo, that is too much. Too much. I love it. Let's check the stats. Check the stats, y'all. Nine and a half. So how did the Russians do? Um, wow. Hey, this is not. I mean, it was a tough competition. Only 20%. Two out of 10. Two out of 10 here for Russia. And everybody else is kind of mixed up here. But shout out to the, the winners here. Levon uh, from Georgia in first place. And you have Artemiev in second. And Min Lee. Big men. Okay. Big men for the win. He got third place. A great job, man. Great job for that. That's great stuff. This is Title Tuesday. Well, I'm National Master James Canty the Third. Make sure y'all follow me on um, Twitch right there. Yeah, it's in the chat. Thanks, Max. Yeah, go follow my channel. We'll be turned up on the stream. Stick around. Don't go anywhere because we're about to go raid Nemo. About to go raid Nemo. So make sure y'all stick around. It's going to be a big raid over there. Have some fun. Um, stick around, guys. I'll see y'all on the next one. Um, stick around for the raid, though.